Welcome to the stream today everyone on Twitch and anyone who's joining us later on YouTube. I'm PCJLaw from twitch.tv forward slash PCJLaw and today we're playing another game of Civilization 5. We're going to be playing as Korea on Pangea map, standard map size, deity difficulty and quick game pace. So Korea, Korea are an incredibly strong civilization. They're regularly and widely considered as one of the strongest civilizations in the game. And the reason that they are one of the strongest civilizations in the game is because of Korea's ability right here. Scholars of the Jade Hall, plus two science for all specialists and for all great person tile improvements. So that is actually huge. We'll get to that in just a minute. Receive a tech boost each time a scientific building slash wonder is built in the Korean capital. Tech boost whenever you build a scientific building. That's pretty big. That's a nice boost that you can take. And then plus two science from all specialists and for all great person tile improvements is also huge. Because it means that we'll get an extra 25% science out of an academy, which is great. But also, when we work our specialist slots, I'm going to go along to the culture window here. It's actually the same size as the secularism bonus. So we get double secularism bonus as Korea, which is absolutely insanely huge. Instead of plus two science, it's plus four. It's a, it's a really, really big deal. In the end game, each population point is worth two base science. And so this is, I mean, you get... You get two populations worth of base science in the late game. But this will be available from the moment we t we start working our university slots. So it's a really, really... Or workshop slots. So it's a really, really big deal. They also have just a couple of other bonuses. Relatively mediocre compared to that though. First and foremost, they have this turtle ship. It's a caravel replacement. And it's got a ridiculously high combat strength of 36. But it's got the problem that it cannot enter deep ocean. And it cannot move after attacking. Which means that it's an awful lot better at defense as opposed to offense. And in fact, it actually replaces the only unit, the only boat unit at astronomy that can cross ocean. Because the caravel is the first one to do that. You can't do it anymore until you get to privateers and frigates. That's one extra quite expensive tech. Which means that Korea, unless they want to go to privateers or frigates, actually has to embark melee units through the coast to do ocean exploration which is kind of a shame you don't get any visibility no defense etc really strong unit but sadly not quite as memeable i guess as something like a private as a say uh, a, a netherlands sea beggar or something because they can't move after attacking and then they also have this the hiwacha which is a trebuchet replacement and apparently it's kind of an anti-personnel rocket basically it's better against melee units than the trebuchet and again it's relatively mediocre because it's much like the turtle ship it's very much situated for defense because the trebuchet is if you are warring during that period the trebuchet is actually quite crucial in getting city combat strength down to zero. You can't do it particularly effectively on deity difficulty with crossbows because of how high city combat strength for the AI will be because they have all of their bonuses and they'll probably have a castle up. Whereas the trebuchet then is needed to crunch down that city combat strength and the hawacha means that you've removed the trebuchet. So Korea has removed the caravel in favour of a unit which can't go through deep ocean. It's removed the trebuchet in favour of a unit which now cannot really help you that much with sieges. Not great. You can obviously find use for them. Clearly Korea is meant for turtling, not for going offensively, but... One of the main features of something strong in Civilization 5 is the ability to use it flexibly and where you need it. So on offense as well as defense. So it's a shame. But Korea's special ability, the secularism bonus and the science boost is so ridiculously good. It cancels all of that out to make it an exceptionally top tier civilization. Probably only behind Babylon and Poland. Behind Babylon because of the immediate great scientist. But also behind Babylon because the Babylonian Bowman unit is truly exceptional. You don't need chariot archers as Babylon or composite bowmen, really. And then behind Poland, because Poland's increased acquisition of social policies is just insane. Anyway, back to chat. But yeah, Necrosin says you still need frigates to beat down a city, exactly, which kind of makes the turtle ships useless at that point. They would only be good if they stopped you from having to get to navigation, because navigation is one of the most costly parts of a frigate rush, because it's quite a long way off the regular tech tree. Black Vegetable says, not complaining about the star, but always a bit sad when you can't build an observatory in the Korean capital. I guess that's true. But we do have salt and we do have gold. There's no way we're moving off this hill. We barely have any growth tiles that we can see. We've got this civil service farm here, this civil service farm here, and this grassland, grassland farm here, and this fish. I make that four, three plus food tiles so far, which means that growth is already actually, and we've got these two salt, which makes six. Growth is a little short. 
we would definitely be missing out if we moved anywhere else. And of course, we want to stay on the river because that will allow us to build both a water mill and a garden. So we're not moving anywhere. We'll just have a quick explore. And there's marble just down here. So we can already see another expansion down this coast on a river, which is perfect. And there's, guar there's almost guaranteed to be an expansion around here as well. So it looks like we're going to be getting the... The coveted three connected coastals will settle right in place. Click production focus for the production focus trick and immediately work our salt. I want to take one scout first, but because we've got all this salt, it will highly benefit us to actually build an early worker. So we might go one scout into a worker and then back into scouts or just buy a scout if we, if we get the opportunity. And because salt appears to be our regional luxury, we're going to look towards a shrine as well. Although I think actually we should take desert folklore. In fact, Desert Folklore is the play. We should probably just aim for that. But as I actually find the most expensive part about a frigate rush is building the frigates. They're expensive units and it's difficult to find the production time for them. <laughs> Brackets, I just did a naval game incidentally. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But it also it also sets you back quite quite a way in the whole tech, tech game. So not only do you punish your cities, but it sets you back in tech as well. Because... Astronomy and navigation is a really expensive way to enter the Renaissance era. This kind of sucks. I was hoping to get the city on the river, but I don't think it's going to be possible now. Oh, it is. We can put it right here. Okay, perfect. And the city right here gets a fish and a cattle, which is, which is great. And we do want it to be up here again to preserve the food up these civil service farm tiles. We've only got two turns until growth. We might... Wow. It's a shame all this salt is inland. I don't know if we want to preserve this. It might be better for us to preserve it for a couple of turns to try and grow to pop three. So I'm going to do that because it doesn't look like we're in that much danger of getting the ruins stolen by an AI. Because if we go into it now and it's a pop ruin, it barely saves us anything. Whereas getting a boost from pop two to pop three is going to be quite significant. I'm just going to go view here. We've wasted some movement. Well, it's all right. We've grown. We need some money. We'll just take this. Actually, we might as well overflow as much as possible into the next turn. No, we actually probably shouldn't. We can just grow. It's fine. And then let's scout around. Okay, we got two shots at a pop ruin. Culture. Brilliant. Map ruin. Oh, and there's the song high. Okay. Well, we've got culture. Let's. We actually got a map ruin, so that helps us a little bit. Because we do need to decide, and there's another ruin down here, which we want to make sure we beeline for next. It does help us a little bit in deciding what to take. So we've got we've got marble, gold, and salt. This wine is unsettleable. It's also the song highs. So I only see three luxuries right now, which means there is no... Unfortunately, there's no emphasis for us to take liberty. That means we're going to go for tradition because, well, piety and honor are bad. We can move down towards this ruin. Another marble. So again, nothing that screamed to us like we should have taken liberty. It's that early in the game that we can actually afford to go and just open liberty if we decided we wanted it anyway. Because we've got this early tradition policy though, we don't need to build ourselves a monument in the capital. So we get started on this worker that we want. See if we can grab something nice in this tile. Yeah, Kenny joins the stream today. Says, uh, nice, Nom. Yes, indeed. We are playing Korea. And we have a salt start, which is pretty cool. Archer upgrade ruin. Not actually what I was looking for there, I must admit. Now there's Riga. No real point in going any further with this warrior. What I want to do is actually just chill here for Riga's, warrior, for Riga's worker. We're just going to wait. We're going to go up here, though, to get some vision and then just wait. And move this scout around to see if we can see more about the land. We're looking for... We've definitely got an expansion in here. There's a fish. There's a unique resource. Great. A river. Some great hills. That's not going to be short in production. We'll definitely put one around the corner here. Because we know we can fit it in. And then the question is where the next cities in the empire go. We'll go for animal husbandry next. See if we can reveal some horses. Make this start extra good. We want a shrine because we do want desert folklore. We need to try and get this worker still off, which is why we're going to chill and wait for Riga's worker to come out. See if there's anything around here. Ah, a river and some truffles. Perfect. So there's, there's where an expansion goes right up here. Two salt, a new unique luxury. That's what we want. And we'll move around here. Hong Kong. Do we need to buy any tiles? We don't really. Actually, we kind of do. 
Because if we buy the gold, then we know that we can grow onto it. We haven't got a two production tile to grow onto. Veg says switch to shrine. Yes, thank you very much. You must have... Ah, getting an expansion around here is going to be a little bit tougher now. But I think we can still do it if we put it right on the marble. One, two, three. Yeah, right on the marble would work. And then... Yeah, it doesn't really give us a lot of food though. But that third connected coastal would be incredibly valuable. We definitely can't fit another, win on, another one in over here. Barb camps. More salt. Wow. How are we going to settle this city for the salt? There's also salt over here. It's wild. One, two, three, four, five. There's seven salt. Songhai is unfortunately going to get some. We can cross over just a little because Riga's work is not going to be out quite yet. We do want. We might want to go settler straight away if we do get desert folklore. Might as well go get that ruin now. Hmm. I don't know that we can find a way to settle this. TBI Dota says Sejong to Minneapolis. It's happening again. <laughs> I assume you mean Seoul to Minneapolis. How happy would Sejong have been to add Minneapolis to his empire? Let's review the Lux Scout again, just to make sure that tradition is where we want to commit, because we are actually still at a point where we could switch back to Liberty. Marble, gold, salt, truffles, that's it. So we have to commit to tradition. So we'll take oligarchy. Let's see. Settle on the truffles, asks Necrosin. I, I feel like it. That was what I was originally thinking. But I actually think here, better. Because it collects this salt too. And it collects all of this. And it's next to the truffles. And we can get it on the hill. As opposed to on the truffles, which is actually a bit far away. One of the things that I like to talk about when settling actually the hill between the truffles and the salt. Yeah, I think so. Right here. I think Veg is talking about as well. One of the most important things about settling is actually making sure that you settle close to the to your good tiles. Third ring, it takes you a long time to expand to third ring tiles, especially if they're behind something like this jungle tile. It's gonna our, our city is gonna find is gonna it's gonna get to this tile really late, so we'd run the risk of expanding to this salt really late. Fortunately, a city here will expand to this salt and this cattle fairly quickly, which puts us in range of here. But in general, you don't want to settle too far away from your good resources. Hong Kong would be a better worker still. We'll see. Because we need to use this warrior to go grab this ruin and then come back for Riga. But I would love to get a worker down for this desert folklore city. So maybe there. Nekerson says that's more defensive to a hill on your side of the river. Exactly. Not that I think war is a problem here because we've got this conveniently placed mountain range. But you're quite correct. But yeah, Veg, yeah, Veg was referencing this spot. But yeah, there's definitely there's going to be an AI near here, which is good. But I'm hoping that there's, we don't have too much trouble there because of the placement of that mountain. Let's go move towards our ruin and then we can come back for Riga's worker. It's animal husbandry. Pop ruin. That was unfortunately too soon, but I didn't really want to wait for that one. We could grow to pop four in four turns, which I think we will do now. We might as well, although I don't really. We've got two sources of horses, which is brilliant. Sadly, this takes away a food tile from our capital, which is a, a bit of a shame because we did kind of need it. And we don't have any other grassland tiles, so our capital only has one, two, three, four, five, three plus food tiles right now, which is pretty, it's a pretty dire situation to be in. Let's keep moving around. Songhai's here. We still haven't met them. We should do that. Let's bring this warrior back after he takes a shot from... Oh, he didn't take a shot from the archer. Nice. And there's another ruin over here. Go meet the song high. Maybe we can steal a worker off him too. And we'll finish this worker from Minneapolis while we've got the chance. If I wasn't so close to pot 4, I wouldn't have continued building the worker. But we were really close. There's another ruin here. 80 gold. Great. I'm tempted to buy, a, buy another scout right now and just let this scout go off exploring the world. And I think we will do because we've got a lot of land. We might get culture again here. Another map ruin, sadly. There's the other Songhai city. Okay, well now that we've bought that other scout, we can let this go to explore the world. And we can use this one to kind of defend and protect our land and get some initial scouting over there. 
Perhaps Hanging Gardens will be available, says the Black Vegetable. That's true. I'd quite like Hanging Gardens around here. This city definitely goes on the marble. I mean, it can't go anywhere else. Ideally, I'd put it on this desert tile because you you get two, two food, one production from your city tile either way. So dropping it on a desert tile that's otherwise unworkable would have been quite good. It's a shame this city got the hill, but there's more than enough hills for a city around there anyway. There's Riga's worker, so we just need to dispense of this brute and then we can take it. There's actually gems up here, which points to a fifth city. Really cool. And it, that should be doable as well, because we are... Settler. Because, because we've grown to pot four, a fifth city is probably quite doable. This feels good. We got a lot of 2-1 ties. We could probably increase production by buying hills. But I don't know that we want to expend any extra cash right now. We're, we're doing perfectly fine for settler production. We should grab bronze working to reveal the iron. Again, because we don't have... We don't have too much of a need for... For example, we will need trapping for truffles. And we actually will need masonry. But we don't need calendar. And that helps save us some time. When we're talking about... Hello, Songhai. We need to... If we're going to steal a worker, we have to steal the one that's on this wine tile. So we'll wait. We don't really want to steal this one because it's... A, we're, we're Actually, we might be able to. It could be a bit stuck. We'll move up and see. There's an archer here in a city shot. But we can get away down here after stealing this worker. No units in here could get to us anyway because of this marsh. Let's see if we can take it. Hopefully the archer doesn't die. <laughs> but we've got a really safe path out. And it's good. It's always good to slow down your neighbour when you're playing on deity. We need to help get rid of this. This estate should be able to kill it next turn. Explore a little bit more. And we'll improve the salt straight away. It's because it, improving the salt gives us production. So we might as well. Bookatini just subscribed for four months. Bookatini, thank you very much for the subscription. That's very generous of you. And also, welcome to the stream. We need to make sure we've got some units back here to do some escorting. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we got this archer out alive then from the Songhai. Let's move this out. And then we need to have a quick radar to make sure we don't move within range of any, any warriors. Any barbarian brutes and, and the like. A little bit of an explore. Okay, if we heal, let this worker come out next turn. And then we do need to bring this scout back. One, two, three. Yeah, we should get back just in time to escort the new unit. Here is an Arabian settler. There's a ruin though. There's Medina. We should check for peace every turn because we want to remove this warmonger penalty. We probably want to... Wow, another worker just came out here, but we can't afford to go and steal that. Not unless we can peace them, which we can't. All right, let's have a quick radar again. We want to make sure we're not running into any barbs. This camp is annoyingly close. Which means we probably can't afford to go there. We should probably just go down here into this forest and then take some turns to heal the archer before then getting a move on. There's copper up here too. Nice hill river mountain city next to the gems. Yeah, I think so. We could e It could even go on the gems. There's an archer. This is going to run away. We want to take this worker now. If we stay here, we're going to get shot by Riga, the city, and shot by this archer. But we should be able to safely get out over here. So I'm going to leave this war open again. Riga might even shoot the barbarians for all we know. And then this scout. I would love to scout one more time. But I don't know that we've actually got the time to do that. So I'm going to bring this home to make sure we got the time. But yeah, it's a really nice city near the gem somewhere. We could even try and squeeze this copper in. Make sure we've got six luxuries for our five cities. And then we'll fortify this to make sure we've got defense. Grab our ruin. Masonry. Perfect. Free tech. That's what we needed because luxury techs were getting expensive for us to take. You never you never do want to have to take all of the luxury techs at the start of the game. So it's quite valuable to us. So we can get out of here relatively fine. Keep bringing this back. We can actually just bring this down here, I think. So we could es escort this worker back at the same time, perhaps. Legalism for the free monument. Improved our salt now in the capital. 
Improving the salt is quite good. How much food do we have? So we could actually even work some food at some point to try and squeeze more out of here. In fact, this is 12. Yeah, this is 13 production now because we've got the extra food off the salt, so that's helped deeply. Take one turn to heal this archer. But it says, maybe not a game for multi-stealing for the CS. Looks like an awkward spot. It kind of does, and I would quite like to clear that camp to get that ally. But where you can leave the war open, I like to leave the war open just to keep the options open. Perhaps this worker comes back when we finally get peace. We still didn't get a Pantheon. Is Desert Folklore gone? Yeah, Desert Folklore is already gone, so we're not really in a rush to settle this anymore. I might settle this city to make sure we can claim all the tiles up near Hong Kong. Because if we want to leave open the possibility of five city tradition before national college we will want our fifth city to be one of these coastal ones so that we can immediately send it a trade route from the capital it's tire yeah we just want to keep healing there check for the war nope where's the first expand going asks necrosin you're right actually you made a very good it's a very good question because i've just been milling around here for like no reason when where i wanted to put the expand was down here so we're gonna have to check <laughs> To see if we can still get there. I might still like a Petra by the set by there says the black vegetable. That's true. There's eight. There's eight sieves in the game though, and the Songhai's in desert. We're gonna have to get out of here now. Quick radar. Move down here. We've met Budapest, so that's a nicer place to hit, to stick around. There's another settler. We are gonna want to keep going, settlers. All right, let's have a quick radar because we we might be able to walk this one in without any problems around here. There's a barb there, but that's going to go into the city state. We're going to try and walk it in. We're not in danger as long as we don't get any barbs spawn here and move here within a couple of tiles. Because all we need to get to do is get safely on this sheep and then we're good to go. This needs to heal. Let's just get on there with the scout. And then we can go back for... We need our luxury resources. We've actually got everything apart from for trapping. So we'll take that now. We can move three tire with this scout. Yeah, this is not small map size. No, it's standard map size. So yeah, Songhai's already in desert. Arabia's already in desert. So I really, I really don't think Petra is particularly likely today, sadly. Alright, let's have another quick radar. Where's this barb that was down here? Is in there now. Oh, this this spot's got iron. We want to make sure to grab that quickly. We can go here and we're not in danger of getting captured and we can run away as well. YOLO walking, always a bit risky. But as long as you correctly radar everywhere, it's usually all right. There seems to be no AIs in here. We might have all of this land for ourselves. Yeah, sea level's to low, which also does give a bit more land. You're correct. When we eventually piece the song high. Oh, here we go. I mean we don't we don't want any more. <laughs> we don't want any more workers from them. Oh, there's a city state in here. We should make sure to meet that in a minute. Ah, uh, Egypt, hello. An entire sleeve joins the stream today, so asks Korean salt capital. Yes, indeed, a Korean salt capital. Alright, are there any more units around here? This looks relatively safe. Now that we're safely on the sheep, we're good. We just hope that the city-state doesn't expand to our iron next turn. Let's meet this quickly. Samarkand. Move around. Ruin discovered. Nice. Did not expect to find one down there. And we'll just be fairly careful with escorting this back. 14 production now. 14 still. Salt available. We want to trade it for Lux for Lux when it comes up. So let's not trade it away now. It's pretty crucial to make sure to hold a couple of Luxes for Lux for Lux trades. Again, we'll have a quick radar. Make sure there's no barbs here because our archer is pretty dead. And we can settle this. We've even got masonry. Great stuff. And we'll buy this tile straight away. Actually, I want to buy these two tiles. To really box the city state out. Because we're going to need all the space we can get here. And we want to go granary straight away. Because we want to be sending cargo ships to the capital from this city. 
In fact, because this is these are both 14 production, we should work the horse from Seoul for a moment. Because that's food and production there. And then this worker can come down here. Let's go down here and grab this ruin. Culture again. Wow, this is a really good culture start. We still didn't get a Pantheon, sadly. I guess the time for Pantheons is mostly gone now. FJS War joins the stream today. Welcome. It says rename Soul to M Massive Apolis. Okay. See if I can fit it in. Massive Apolis it is. Not sure what's so massive about it. <laughs> it's going to be pretty small, but I guess it has done this. Do you know Fark says, I really need to remember radar. I keep losing YOLO settlers. <laughs> you know, Juno you know Fark? It's funny you should say that because my approach when I don't use radar is to just not YOLO settlers. <laughs> and you're sitting there being like, maybe I should learn to radar so I stop losing my YOLO settlers. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, it sort of seems backwards. My approach is to, if I can't radar, to not continue to YOLO my settlers. But I just find it quite funny that your approach is when you don't radar to YOLO them anyway. Especially when it's so easy just to buy a third scout. <laughs> just going to chill here, see if we can perhaps try and steal another worker off Riga. This barb camp looks pretty deadly. We've got to try and move through. Uh, oh, yes, another fish. This city is going to be great. And we should be able to get in here to protect our worker. If we can't, we'll run it away. And I think we want to chop another forest. Oh, we're not actually ready to escort this settler anywhere. I think we want to go place it up here somewhere. I think this settler wants to go up somewhere. We'll just queue up another couple. And send them north. And here is a great tile. This iron, which is going to be great for settler production. One of the reasons why Earth Mother Pantheon is so great is because you can work all of your faith while you're building settlers. Because you, you want to be working all of your salt and all of your iron when you're building settlers. Which is why Earth Mother is so good. Whereas Desert Folklore is, I mean, Desert Folklore is the best faith generating Pantheon out there. But it can sometimes be tough to get all of your faith work because sometimes your desert tiles are not your settler building tiles. Whereas Earth Mother is great because your settler building tiles are always your Earth Mother tiles. Bird says, oops, you lost the worker. I think you're right, I did lose the worker. But I can box this thing in. I didn't even notice. But yeah, because it can't. I, I was too fixated on this hill and not enough on the tile. But we can just box this thing in. And then move this settler back towards its position, I guess. I mean, if it carries it back to the camp, we're going to handle the camp anyway. But it really is not ideal. But we have got a few... Oh dear, this is quite dangerous. So that doesn't die as well. That would be pretty bad. There's Egypt's up there. Oh, we'll build an archer at some point and get it back. This is the Riga worker. Egypt City. Venice, hello. I mean, if we if we harbour any dreams of getting this back, might be a barb up there. We're trying to go here though. Hmm. We could try and claim it back with a warrior, maybe. And then, well, we still need a worker in the capital. I mean, we could try, we could bait this thing in and see if it will come for the next worker. And then that would enable us to kill it. Archery, just in case we want an archer. Wow, we just survived. We're going to have to go down somewhere now. We might just be okay. We're going to have to come down here and hope that survives. See if we can get it to come over here. No, we couldn't convince it to do that. Well, we'll improve the gold anyway. Looks like we're kind of free to just YOLO. Oh, no, we're not. 
I thought we were going to be free to YOLO all this in. Take Monarchy. And we're safe to do this. We've got this Archer coming back anyway to try and help. Probably should just move this in. Oh, really? I've, I've kind of left this open again, but... I want this to, thing to come in. Silver, yes. I want this thing to come in and try and steal the worker, because then we can kill it. But it refuses to do so, sadly. There's this archer. We need to move over here. And then wait, because the archer could come back over here. Heal. This. Massive Apolis grew. We're a little bit stretched on units, actually. We might have to take a break to grab an archer. But it won't work, otherwise it would have just taken your settle of the turn before. Yeah, probably. Truffle City first? Yeah, I'm thinking about the Truffle City. We need to stay away from that camp. We've got too many units kind of spread out right now, because this archer got delayed back home. We can finally found a Pantheon. We should be able to get up here free and easy. For this city. And this one, I guess we send it out for the gems. Don't really want to go anywhere near the Archer. What's our Pantheon? We actually do have Earth Mother available, so we'll take it. This now needs to heal. And we'll start by chopping down this forest. We're going to need all the food we can get there. Oh, uh, um. Uh, here's probably the safest spot for this scout, but it's in pretty big trouble. Yeah, if both hand axes attack next turn, you could lose the warrior. Yeah, I think, I think we might. I didn't really think about it at the time, but yeah, if they both attack, it might be gone. It is actually gone. Oh, well. Not a great exhibition of moving units around here, I must admit. We're trying to do a little bit too much. Like this. There's actually the salt here, but... Do we go granary first or do we go... Probably go worker. The city's got plenty of food. Definitely trying to do too much with the units we've got. Because this archer did get delayed coming back home. Which means I think... We should probably stop to build another archer. While we're waiting. Couple of turns, quite useful. And then we can't really get round here. We'd like to get this around though. And we can, I think we can chop this down as well. But yeah, we're trying to do too much. Bukatini says, take a sip of your beverage. Booker, thanks for keeping me hydrated. Once we get this other settle out, though, we'll be okay. There we go. That has handled itself, and we can work some more Earth Mother. I think we do want to work Earth Mother over the bananas. He's treated with Askir and did this granary's done. We need to actually get the ability to build cargoes. But we're going to need another worker, so why don't we build one in Massive Apolis? Heal this scout for a couple of turns and see if we can come back down and get the worker out of this camp. Well, that worker that comes out of the camp, it'll be used for this city. It's just a shame. Stupid Venice and their stupid scouts is Necrosin. I know, but I think it actually turned out quite useful in the end. Right. It looks like we're about to get our gold potentially pillaged. And again, we don't we don't really want to lose this this time. So we'll move it back under here. And we'll go this way to avoid taking a slam from this. Actually, we wouldn't have done anyway because it's zocked by the Venice Scout. But it might not have remained zocked for very long. We can swap embassies. This archer is now healed. We should probably try and handle this barb camp. I really want to try and deal with too many at once, though. Yeah, see, this is in here now, but we've gotten rid of it. Nice. And we can use this archer. Might need to use it to handle this warrior. 
And apparently this warrior needs dealing with. Up there. Barbarians are coming towards us all of a sudden. We should... I, I would like to buy the salt, but I feel like this gold might be better used for other... Other means. We need to put down a food tile. I moved this up here so that we don't get slammed by this brute when we don't need to. Being a little awkward. As long as we don't take 38 hit points worth of damage, this scout... There's a Regan worker. But we could get slammed here. This is 49 hit points. Let's see if these survive. I really don't want to lose any of these, though. Another salt here. Right, so what are we going to do? Need to move this up a bit. If we take a slam, that's probably all right. And then we need to move this one over here to get a first shot off. And then we move here, and that's kind of okay then. Nizif joins the stream, says, Hi there, career and salt. You're going for a high-risk game? Indeed. Probably quite risky, I guess. I mean, we're doing a lot... We got a promotion. We'll just take the instant heal straight away. This settler needs to come out here. But we can handle this barbarian with just this archer now. And this worker needs to improve some more stuff in Minneapolis. I didn't just put it in range of getting yeeted, did I? No good. We do kind of want this horse back now. But this city's grown a lot. We'll actually go work this tile straight away. We need this. That's going to expand there in five turns, so we can probably wait. This is going to let Minneapolis go back to working this. What do we need? Might need one more archer to handle some of these barbarians. And this scout got its instant heal as planned. We actually want to move it two forward here, because then we can heal on the next turn. Provided there's no barbarian units within range to shoot us, which I don't think there is. And then this scout also gets an instant heal, which we probably do want to take. Wow, there's barbs everywhere. That's why the settler ran off. The settler, the worker ran off. But we can still chill around there. Massive Apolis wants to go and build ourselves a cargo ship once it's done here. But yeah, name salt Mod Moderatopolis asks Necrosin. It's a thousand channel points to rename a city. Could maybe do two for 74 here. Oh no, that's gold per turn. <laughs> Lol. Two for 74. Okay. And Gardens goes, turn 38. Let's see if Petra's still here. Petra's still here. Not that we could have built it by, by now. <laughs> okay, we can finish that off. And we need to move these over towards our city. Safest is probably, safest is probably to come along the bottom here. So let's do that. And we need to not get this worker taken. We can come across here and now we can heal the scout. This might be the spot we place it on. Sadly, we do. We are kind of in a bind here. But we can move the scout through. It's only going to take one hit from this brute maximum. And now this worker does need to get away. We can pop one turn in here before we move along. And this becomes a three food tile. So that we've got more food now here. Paul joins the stream today, says you're working a two hammer tile in Massive Apolis. Yeah, I know. It doesn't really need to grow that hard and we've got quite a lot of production to be kicked out of it. I mean, I guess I could work this, this one one tile, or this one one tile safer. Which maybe is okay, but I was actually intentionally doing it. Maybe take Calendar now. Optics would be quite good. They've got some fish here. Cap's actually got a second fish. That's great. And then we do need to get onto granaries and things. Cargo ships. There we go. This comes in and that is killed straight away. Down to the horse. Soul's building its own worker. But we do need to get a new worker out here. I guess we can just wait for a second on here now with a scout. And come up here near the marble. We need to. We do need to get a worker in Soul. But it has built its own worker. <laughs> We do want to go Granary, then Library afterwards. Can we heal this for one turn, this Archer? And this Archer... This Archer can come over to try and help claim our Worker back. 
Because this archer can probably handle this area now by itself. Grab one more worker and then we can start cargoes. Probably want to grab food up here on the sheep. Do we move over here or do we just settle on the river? This scout might have to take two hits if we move up here to try and get closer to the copper. But then this is an observatory start. <laughs> Lovebox says, I came here because I want to watch more of the games you don't win so I can relate. Uh, well, welcome. I I mean, the, we don't win very often. No, we don't win. So we don't lose very often on the stream. Granted, I, I, I generally tend to post mostly complete games on the internet. But we, do, we don't lose very often apart from the odd early war thing that happens. Settle where you are, says Nizaf. I think so as well. We can just buy our way out to this copper anyway. Yeah, Veg says I would settle in place. I think so. It's too risky. And Untire Steve says, God, I hate, I hate when, when the iron spawns on the desert and I have Earth Mother. I know, it's quite annoying, isn't it? Post NC City on the copper on the north coast? No, definitely not. The north coast, way too far away from my capital, right next to Egypt. As a general rule of thumb... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I tend to I tend to only really settle within about eight tiles of my capital. Because otherwise your cities get a long, long way away. It increases your chance of forward settlings. It's very hard to support them. A city like this, we don't even get any coastal benefit by going there. We'll just settle here and hope to grab the copper. And we can go Granary Library here. And we need to get a worker over as fast as possible. Perhaps a Regan one. Don't know what we do about trying to nick a settler out of here. We probably, a worker out of here, we probably can't. But we can chill there anyway. Embassies with Venice is fine. It's a shame we're not next to Venice. I thought that might have been why we had a lot of room. But if, I think it's just because the Songhai didn't settle towards us with their initial settler. Enemy is near. Yeah, it's this hand axe. It's fine. Can't kill this. Don't want to kill it. Yeah, and we're ready. Prove this. We've healed up enough that we can try and challenge this camp. Oh, the camp got cleared by a Songhai horseman. Great. We need to work some more Earth Mother tiles. Maybe we just work this until the horse is improved. And we get another... Another salt here for when this grows anyway. We need to get a worker out to Busan. I think this worker needs to travel. This worker needs to travel to Seoul. And Seoul's worker needs to travel to Busan. Or this worker just goes straight to Busan. Something like that. And then this city's worker comes from the barb camp when we clear it. Barb sacrificed itself on us there. Border grown to some more salt. Probably just want to retreat up here. And this is probably too many workers for Massive Apolis. We do this and move it around and then we'll grab a cargo ship. Cross the river. Cross the river. No reason to not settle this city. Don't think so. We will need to support it with a cargo eventually. But we can perhaps build a granary and then the cargo ship next in the cap. Grab a monument. Maybe we do want to grow it first though. So we'll grow it one and then... No, if we're going to send it a cargo, we can just build this production. It's fine. I can't really get rid of this barb camp, sadly. Not without buying it. We do want this copper though. We're going to grab that now. Make sure... Yeah, we've got one move. We don't want to do anything with this. Just heal it. Okay. Yeah, eight to nine times from the cap is usually the maximum for sure. Oh, Black Vegetable asks, it's cheaper to buy tiles once they've expanded naturally once, right? Yeah, it is actually, but I just YOLO'd my way there. <laughs> just wanted to make sure we definitely didn't lose it to anything weird that could have come from Egypt. You don't know what Egypt's going to put down somewhere near here, do you? So, I just wanted to make sure we got it. I've been burned too many times. That luxury is quite important to us. And so, I just wanted to make sure it it, it was definitely ours. Right. Let's try and handle this camp. Get our worker back. We had the gold for it anyway. Which was the other thing.
But yeah. Well, so CBH, this game is not losable anymore. It's just a formality. Well, we'll see. I think the challenge is to see as fast as we can win. But the Songhai could attack. And yeah, Massive Apolis is definitely very vulnerable to the Songhai. I do believe we're building new cities very aggressively. Also, we've got two Barb Camp quests for these two, mer mer these two mercantile city states that I didn't realise we were friends with, which is going to make us go unhappy. It does make sense because <laughs> we've been a bit behind in getting our luxuries up. But yeah, Black Vegetable says that's true. I've greeted tile purchases and lost them too. Exactly. Like, you, you don't want to... Yeah, Egypt's right here. Regional luxuries all over the place. You don't want to... We don't have to risk it, so we're not going to. This is our scout archer, I think. Which means that we can be useful in trying to take down this hand axe. On classical with optics. Now we need to come back with calendar. Probably straight up to philosophy. This is finished. I mean, will Massive Apolis grow if we work an extra food? It will. Do that. That's fine. John Ju is busy. Work on the hand axe. Can't take the camp yet. Soul's about to grow. Busan's about to grow. Can go straight onto the copper as well. That's quite nice. I kind of do want a religion. There's only one left. If we're going to get it, we're going to get it, I think. We actually, if we work this, we can get this granary one turn earlier. I don't, yeah, that does make it, that's about the same. So I guess that's fine. Probably need to send two workers to Busan, I think. Make sure there's no barbarians hiding in here. That's why I sent these two workers up here, because I think two workers to Busan is quite valuable. Improving assault is going to help with our happiness. We've grown to this banana. That's great. We don't need to build a lot here, so we'll work the banana to keep growing. Are we going to... Yeah, we are. We're going to get an instant heal with this archer, so I don't mind standing here and duking it out with a hand axe. Keep everything safe. Grab one more cargo ship. And now we can have our worker back. What do we want to do? Probably just improve another 2-1 tile around here. Except embassies with Egypt. Yeah, that's Egypt's capital right here with Thebes. They also have a hand axe. Where'd they get a hand axe from? Massive Apolis demands wine, I'm glad. Oh, really? A barb horseman? Ugh. Barb horsemans. Really. Fortunately, we don't need a lot else here. Take barrage. Hopefully we can get back fast enough and we'll just chill here. See if we can nick a worker that ends up out here somewhere. Barbarian Horseman. This is quite slow production. I think I want to go back to working the 1-1 one, one tile. Masopolis doesn't actually seem to be seem to have a lot of food right now. Oh, we're unhappy, that's why. Because we didn't clear barb camps. Well, we're getting salt online, although we are a bit delayed now. We can get some spare marble online too. Which I think we should do with this worker. The horseman came all the way down here. That's pretty deadly, actually. I don't like that at all. This horseman could wreck us a lot because this archer might just die. We might have to retreat all the way back with this archer because this horseman could get us all. Oh, it's taken that tile now, so we have to go here. That's fine. Yeah, this horseman could get everything. So we have to be really careful with it. Give horse back to the other city then. Yeah, maybe actually should have done that. So we just improved this sheep tile and it's already been hit. I dislike having to overreact to barbarian horsemen. But you can't really overreact to barbarian horsemen. They're just ridiculous. 
You have this quarry. There goes Petra, turn 48. I'm pretty sure we had no chance of getting that. I don't really know where's best to keep this scout. I actually only met five AIs. Could give this gold tile, this gold over. This city might not need it. This city could do with a horse, maybe. But we're starting to grow now. Although Massive Apolis does need a tile. So maybe that's a layout that's just better overall for the Empire. Yeah, see, this archer took a big hit. Fortunately, we have three archers on hand to dispense of this horseman. So we move those archers back just in time. Might be library next in Jonju, just to make sure it's not the limiting factor. We're not growing right now, but we will be soon. I think this scout probably needs to defend our copper that's up there. One more turn and we can be happy again. A few turns of unhappiness has been quite painful. Can't really do much about it. I don't know where that horseman came from. But we've got all of these archers around here to deal with barb camps. And that is happy again. We've got two. Hopefully we can get some more trade in, but we've got some unique luxes to come now. Order grew to this cattle. We can already faith purchase. That's because Busan's already converted over to whatever this religion is. The buildings aren't great and it doesn't have Jesuit. But we are quite close to our own religion now. Busan was always going to convert. Yeah, we probably should have given this tile up. Finally, another Riga worker says, Veg, yes, indeed. There we go. That's going to get us it. There's seven workers already. We probably only need one more, maybe two. But we might be able to get them all from Riga or just give them all back. We'll keep the war open with Riga as long as we can. This cargo can go straight from Minneapolis to John Jew. So grow it. And then this cargo will go from Massive Apolis back to the cap. Okay. Well, we need happiness. We'll build a circus. And then we'll bring these down. See if we could... This camp still appears to be here. For both these city-states. So I guess that's what we focus on next. And then we're just going to pro-move our way over a little bit. We need to get back to get those truffles. And if we can get away with improving another salt first. I would like to, but I don't know that we can. John Jew's gonna grow. Yeah, just grow to production. We just wanna we wanna work we wanna do a lot of productioning in these cities. Granaries, lighthouses. We might actually be able to, considering how far behind Busan is, I'm pretty sure we can squeeze a granary out first here. Senior Bedju joins the stream today. Welcome. Says, our oh, career with salt. I see we're going for an easy win today, lol. <laughs> we're trying it for sure. We um We actually didn't intend for it this to be. We didn't roll for a salt start, we just got it. And so we're trying Five City Korea. Got a friend Arabia. Songhai's actually friends with Arabia, so that might reduce the chances of war now. Oh, yes, please. We'll keep working this because we've got the cargo ship going there. And we can, we can actually build a quarry with this worker. Well, we really should have posted something out there to keep a handle on the barbarians. I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's absolutely required. We've got this, these over here now, so we need to find some more room to build the unit. One turn scout. We've got just a couple of turns before these cities grow. Marbles available, but no, we don't want to do that. Egypt doesn't really seem to like us. Egypt could be thinking about war, actually. Although Busan would be quite hard for Egypt to attack. It would still be a pain to defend. Because Coppets of Doom can just, like, walk in. <laughs> Let's get this scout out here so we can patrol the land. It's Coppets of Doom. Like, the city's really defensible, but if the AI just keeps walking units up, which it will, there's not going to be a lot we can do to defend... Need an ounce of food to grow this city again. We got a three food tile for the capital. 
something like that. And we can maybe move this archer out preemptively to make sure we control that space. This is where not having any more AI allies is hurting us right now. Because we could do with some more trade. But we didn't really explore too well north of Egypt or east of the Songhai. Maybe this scout can do that. And now that this archer's healed, we can perhaps use that archer to try and hold the land. More salt for soul. That's kind of crazy, really. We still want to keep working the faith. Yeah, this is why we wanted to work with that food earlier and boost sand, because now we switched over to a bit of production there. Come down and see what we can do. But this camp's gone. The city-states have just cleared it themselves. Always the way. Well, if we get copper online, which we will, and the Songhai's got wine available. Brilliant. Wine for salt, please. Or should we trade it for marble? We should trade it for salt. Actually wants horse as well. So we can give him some horses. Only one, sadly. Our deal with Venice ended. Silver for salt again. Grow. Because we got so much production here. Well, all these units can come back. At least we got some defense in case the Songhai fancies something. And we'll send these scouts out. Drop one turn into here before moving on to another salt. Although we should probably actually... I would say we should go for the truffles. But we look at this. Another worker. We should just steal all the workers we can. Because we can try and hand them back to Riga at some point. No city settled in here. So this is a perfect spot for a barb camp to hand Riga's units straight back to it. Take the wheel. Is Colossus gone? Colossus is still here. Guess we'll try it. Likelihood's not very high of getting it, but we can try it anyway. A lighthouse needed now. Booker says, any interest in humankind? Checked it out at all? Um, So I haven't really checked out humankind. I We should be working this now that we've improved it for a start. Yeah, I haven't really been checking out much of humankind. We can actually do even better by doing this, and then we'll grow to that. Yeah, I haven't really checked out much of Humankind, I must say. The the next game that I want to play, so I'm really aiming for playing Kerbal Space Program 2 when it comes out, hopefully soon, in 2022. But I'm also kind of really intrigued about Total War Warhammer 3. So I'm kind of angling for playing Kerbal Space Program 2 soon on the stream. In fact, if this game ends early, I'll probably play a little bit on stream tonight. But otherwise, something to do with Total War Warhammer. I'm trying to hold because I can't really play more than about two games at once. Three at a real push. So I'm trying to hold out for the games that I'm really looking forward to playing, which should hopefully be coming down soon. Although I've heard I've heard human games, humankind could be pretty cool. That do keep me updated as to how humankind goes. If it turns into an exceptionally good game, I, I think I could probably just be convinced to play it. Because if it's good, it's just good, right? He wants it. Okay, we're going to give him free marble. And that will hopefully mean that that he's never going to declare war on us. I wouldn't normally do that to the AI. Give them a free luxury when they ask for it like that. But given that the Songhai declaring war on us was one of the big ways that we could have inadvertently lost this game. I think that that's quite a good ploy. Because it's not like we're trading it away right now. So it feels like a good choice. Library or Lighthouse? Lighthouse is no use, so library. If we can get a religion. We're, we're up for last religion here. And improve some more. So I was talking about going for the truffles, wasn't I? We've got a little bit of room because of all the trading we're doing. Let's get back with Riga 3. We certainly don't need to build any more workers. We can send this straight to Minneapolis. Nice. And we've got friendships with Hong Kong again, though not for long. Hopefully their next quest is also quite doable. And here's our profit. Great. Let's see what's available. Let's just check that nothing, not all of the great beliefs are gone. Because if all of the great beliefs are gone, we should probably just plant. So let's check. 
we might just have enough faith for pagodas if that's still there pagodas are gone production is gone temple happiness is gone i can't honestly say i know what's still available because it doesn't feel like there's a lot of good stuff available but we do still have our religion what's going to still be here garden happiness is going to still be here i haven't seen garden happiness gone We've got one, two... We've got four garden cities, so garden happiness is actually good for us here. What else is still available? Tithe is gone, which means that we have... We're going to be getting two gold for each city, which is actually not bad because we've got five cities. World Wonder Faith is gone. So we don't really have capacity to get any more faith. I don't actually know if founding a religion is the best choice here, or do we just sit on six extra faith per turn? Need to see what the Songhai's got. The Songhai has temple happiness and culture for wine and incense. That's not really very good. But Vegetable says, I've been liking swords into plowshares recently, although that may be a little too weak for a religion. Founding also protects your pantheon, says FGS4. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it does. That's what I'm thinking about too. It does protect the pantheon's faith generation. We've got two religions right next to us. We might be okay. I think we can probably just about get away with founding, but it's going to be pretty mediocre. So we can take church property and we can take... Oh, there's actually some decent stuff still here. We might even choose to take guru ship if we want it. But we want peace gardens, first of all, because we, we do need happiness out of this religion. And that's going to give us eight total because we've got four garden cities. And this is mosque. Oh, is mosque still here? I did not even notice, but mosques is still here. You're right. We should go for mosques. I think we can just about... Mosques is going to be hard, though. But I think if we focus for, for temples and shrines, we should be able to do it. Yeah, I think so. All right, does anyone want to name the religion? We haven't named a religion in a little while. It's been, it's, been, it's been a while since we've had our own religion, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Because it's been, yeah, it's been, we've, we've planted prophets for like the last couple of games and we often don't get a religion. I think it's been a long time actually, since we actually had one. Might, maybe on multiplayer we had one. Otherwise I'm going to come up with a genius name. In fact, I think I've already figured out what the genius name is going to be. Salonaism, you know, because of all the salt. Lol. <laughs> yeah, how, how do you express salt? How, how do we... How, how would you express salt in a very ingenious way? Saliniism. What else? Because is there any way? What? Sea dust. I don't really get that. I, I mean, I guess it's from salt. I think Salinism, says TVO Dota. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Salinism. We could have Salinism. Otherwise, I was going to rename the religion in name of Aaron Rodgers, the NFL quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, since someone had just renamed the city of Minneapolis, which, of course, we know Aaron Rodgers does own. <laughs> TV Oto TV Oto knows the drill. <laughs> TV Oto says that was good, not gonna lie. <laughs> Dodiumism. You just wait, he'll be replacing cousins in no time. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll do what Brett Favre did and he'll go to Minneapolis. It's, it's, maybe it's the natural trajectory for all discarded Green Bay quarterbacks. NACL. Now, I can't decide what I like the most. I can't, I can't decide what I like the most. Could even just rename the religion Filthy Robot because as we all know, Filthy is very salty indeed. Optimism. Yeah, I haven't come up with anything particularly good myself. Oh, 
I guess you need to use Taoism for that. Bookatina says, yeah. <laughs> does, does Filthy Robot do Taoism? Or is it just for salt? Do, do any of these emblems look like salt? I guess they don't, really. You can go for Taoism anyway. Or is it pronounced? I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce Taoism properly. All right. I'm going to go for... I think I liked Salinism because it was the easiest for me to... to decide, to, to work out how to pronounce. As much as I really wanted to rename the religion to Aaron Rodgers, we'll go with the salt theme. Next time a city is named Minneapolis, perhaps we'll do it. This other worker, I guess, can just go anywhere. Capital, maybe? And heal and just keep waiting for more workers. We've got 12 happiness. More good tiles here. I forgot to actually give this a decent tile to it. We don't need the library quite so fast. But yeah, I think Nizaf says, when you build five shrines and five temples, you'll get your mosques going nicely. It's okay to buy the late buy it by the last in the Renaissance, in your opinion. Yeah, I think so too. I agree. That's that's what I'm planning. We'll actually sell our open borders for three gold per turn. Why not? It goes Chichin. Busy. If we're going to go Colossus, we need to go library right now in the capital. Otherwise, we're going to delay the NC for far too long. We've got so much food in Jonju as well. This is, this is why cargo ships are so great. They are just insane. We need to work this lighthouse tile. And get some more tiles going for the capital. I'm going to chop that. And then we need to just start chopping down all of this jungle along the river because we need those as civil service hill farms. Grab maybe a hill on here and then move down into the flatland for a three food tile. Shall Try and trade away our iron to the AI. See? Venice only wanted a couple. I kind of feel like we should just give Egypt some. Maybe we can one for two it and then just give him a gift of six gold. Two for three. Hmm. That kind of didn't really work out. But it might be nice to try and make him our friends. He could come war us. So if we can just get a little bit of positive influence going, that would be very valuable. Let's move through Songhai territory to meet some more AIs. Is this camp still here? If it is, I think we need to clear it. I'm not even working this tile. That's how good the tiles are in Seoul right now. Uh, yeah, a little bit, please. Which says, the challenge is getting is first to get the religion in all of your cities. I like Borobudur, but it's hard to get. Yeah, I think so too. That was my other thing. Like, we've already got this religion in Busan. And we've already got the Songhai religion over here. Which is going to make it quite the challenge. That's what, I mean, that's what all of those faith buildings are going to be for. We're going to have to go shrine next in all of our cities for sure. If we're going to even have a crack at this, it will have to be Shrine Next everywhere. Which is why getting that extra luxury was was quite valuable, I think. We need just more and more production everywhere because we need to go Shrine. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit. <laughs> and more and more faith, I guess. So any faith that we can work, the better. I mean, we got all of these Earth Mother tiles. It might be worth getting a missionary first before we do a mosque. Heliopolis has gone down. We might not be able to give Riga back all of its workers. This Barb Camp is actually the ideal candidate if it's still here, which it's not. Probably got cleared by Tyre. That pikeman looks quite suspiciously out there. There's actually room for Barb Camps to spawn in here, which is pretty. That would be pretty dreadful. We should get an archer back in here somewhere. See what we can find behind the song high. Yeah, there's a load of open space down there. That's what we want. Get our camp up. We can actually chop down this truffles as well while we're there. We'll use both these workers to chop along the river. 
Give away some more horses to Askia. We don't really need the gold right now. We can just do one for twos. It's more total to do it one for two. So I only really want to go for the gold if the gold is going to be quite valuable. Need to go. I would love to get a lighthouse, but a shrine next could be pretty pretty damn good in John Ju. Because it doesn't need the food yet. We can probably delay a little bit and that shrine is going to go a long way to making sure that we can... Colossus is still here. It's going to go a long way to making sure that we can actually buy all of our mosques and get some of our cities converted. Oh, we should have we should have grown here in Busan last turn. But it's fine. We can just take some extra food, I guess. But that. We actually want to work these two while we cut these down and replace them. Is John Ju growing? Yeah, we'll work the faith. Why not? Just for the moment. We do need more faith. We need more and more of it. Library done. Colossus in seven turns. About to grow. Do that. Massive Apolis is still working this horse. Which says, how do, you how, how do you think this game is stacking up against the record Inca game? So far, I feel like the barbs slowed the start down quite a bit. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm not entirely sure. Like, it's going really well. It's turned 61. The National College is going to be up soon. Or going up probably in the mid-70s. And we're quite happy with the potential to try and get Hong Kong as an actual ally. I mean, Arabia is the ally right now. But yeah, you're right. The barbs did slow us down an awful lot. In the Inca game, our barb, barb management was absolutely superb. Whereas in this game, it was quite lackluster. So yeah, I'm, re I'm really not sure myself. I'm feeling good about it, but we won't know until we know. The thing is, is that we're not we're not yet going. Try and maximize production for Colossus or is it not worth it? That's a good point. I mean, we're going to grow onto this tile anyway. We're losing like one hammer max from max production, I guess. We could use this, this gold and do it like that instead. And see if we can get Colossus down to six. Because I think it is worth it. To get it down to six. Colossus is that valuable. That could be the difference between this game being as good as the Inca game or not. So I think we're going to try it. Because it's going to make all these coastal cities lit. And there goes another Regan worker. And we got a Golden Age too. So this is down to four turns. So we don't need any more workers right now. We finished Tradition turn 62 as well. That's free aqueducts everywhere except John except John Jew. Yeah, everywhere except John Jew. Busan, Massivapolis. Yeah, we want to just work that here in Massivapolis. Minneapolis grew twice, and yeah, that was Massivapolis again. Four turns on Colossus. Wanna chop this camp down. And then chop this down and then get a camp. And then a temple in Seoul. We want to go shrine here. Yeah, wow. Seven to four. I know. I mean, there's one turn in, so it was really six. But yeah, it's kind of unreal, isn't it? Hopefully we get it. I'll be very disappointed if we don't. We don't need this many workers near Jonju anymore. Something needs to make use of this tile, though. I guess it's this. There's no need for Minneapolis to work this. Unless it gets Colossus down to three, which it doesn't. We just do this now and get... Yeah, Colossus is still four like this. Because we can give this tile back over here. Probably worth more than that one faith. Let's just get... Oh, there's a pikeman. Okay. So this could be real problematic. Where's all of our units? I think this is going to be fastest over and we we'll move this up. See if we can meet another AI around here. This pikeman could have been a problem a long time ago. We're lucky it wasn't. It hasn't been a problem yet. It's just come out to absolutely wreck us from the behind as well. We've got this, but if we stick around, we're just going to die to the pike. We can actually clear the camp next turn. 
if it comes after us more. So I guess we'll stick around. It's not going to fancy a second slam, is it? Drop this down into a temple. Then probably the water mill. Might be worth a spear just to try and handle this camp, though. Dark Chief joins the stream today, says hello. Hello. Nizza says, you have the happiness to grow in the mid game, which is important. I agree. Three coastal cities is also great. Career is flying in the late game. I would guess this looks like a game that is only slightly off compared to the Inca game. Yeah, that might be a good assessment. Might be a good assessment. You can't really tell until you get going. But the Inca game is really kind of ridiculous. So I'm kind of not expecting it to be as good. But you really never do know. If we get Colossus, that could be pretty big. Two archers is... It's hard for two archers to be enough here, isn't it? The temple's seven turns if we do that. Just wait for some archer support to come over. See what this pikeman does. If it if it attacks again, we'll clear the camp. Yeah, see it didn't, because I guess we threaten the camp now. Let's come over here just to protect our archers. And we need to think about roads. We haven't really done a lot of them. I guess because we've got units here, we can do roads here first. Minneapolis is going to grow. We'll just keep working production for the moment. Although Minneapolis actually just needs to grow in general. It's probably not got quite enough food. We'll border grow here and see if we can buy the fish. Yeah, we need 12 production, so we're not getting that down. Horses to ask it ended. We can do some more. We're actually going to trade these for 37 just in case we need it for the fish. Go temple. So that we can get all of our purchasing done. Grab a camp. Library's nearly done here. Would love this, those bananas. Perhaps we should sell another horse to Askia. He does want more horse. We might be able to buy both then. Johnji can grow if we work some food. Hey. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah, Veg says, the Inca game were good cities, but also a flying start. Yeah, exactly. But let's see how this turns out and hope for no double war deck indeed. But yeah, too early to tell. But based on where we're in now, yeah, your guess would be 160 to 168 range. That's actually, I, I'd hope we get there, but it might be a good guess. This is a 100% stock game, Duck Chief. Yes. Cranky Duke joins the stream today. Says, hello, peeps. Welcome to the stream. Time for a poll, says the Black Vegetable. I agree. We could do a poll, you know. I haven't... New poll. The... What do we? Oh, there's a there's a thing, isn't there? There's a what's it called? The star prediction, and then how do I do this? Okay, manage the prediction, possible outcomes. Name the pre name the prediction. Oh no. Okay. And then the answers are like that. Oh no. And then see. I'm going to leave this going for about 20 minutes. So there's a prediction going now in chat. 
Kankadook asks double. Looking at the minimap and see triple declaration of war incoming. <laughs> Lol, maybe. We're actually friends with both Arabia and the Songhai right now. So there's a prediction in chat. It's going for about 20 minutes. When will PC win this game as a science victory? We're going to try and aim to win this as a science victory. Given that we've got an opportunity to do another mega fast one, we might as well give it a shot. Happiness is a bit tight. We need to be building Colosseums. Right, just trying to get this scout in the way to protect our archers here. Jonju grows. Because I do have a rule. And my rule states that when happiness gets down to equal or below the number of cities, you should start spamming your happiness buildings everywhere. And we don't actually have any available right now. But when they are available, we should do it. Losses in one turn and then National College. Although we might have to take a break for a Colosseum. Because we're building... We're probably building... Far too many... Temples... For our happiness management. But they will allow us to buy mosques... Eventually. The DPN joins the stream today. Says, hey PC. Welcome to the stream, the DPN. Hold up. Is, this is Deity. Yes, asks Crankadoot. Yeah. We are on... Korea, Pangea, standard map size, deity difficulty, and quick game pace. Mongolia, hello. We can trade our salt to someone. There could be someone available to trade salt to. And on standard map size, we've got Colossus turn 66. Wow. Well, that could be quite big. We might we might be odds on now for something good. Let's get this to John Ju. We need to grow some cities. I've been holding back here for a while because we haven't really had the tiles. But now we kind of do. We need to go Colosseum. Instructions finished. On to engineering. And soul grew. Yeah, we want to just want like everything we got now. We need more production here. See if we can take out this pikeman. It's actually pretty, pretty damn strong. <laughs> We need to go Colosseum. Busan needs 1.4 food to grow. Oh, I see. So we can do that and grow. Minneapolis is about to grow. What can we do here? Work this. Because the capital is kind of good enough. We just make, need massive Apolis not to be not to get wrecked. Probably. But yeah, wow. Yeah, I don't know how we're getting Colossus, but we just did. Petra. Petra's gone. It got built by Haran al-Rashid. There were too many desert. Yeah, dirty AI. It was like turn 48 or something. So a bit too, as Black Vegetable says, just a bit too soon for it to be really feasible for us to get it. We need to try and get that salt traded away. Trade with Venice a little bit. This pikeman's pretty fortified, which is why we're struggling against it. We really did need some better units. We might have to bring this archer over. <laughs> so no, I want to trade this salt to an AI, but Genghis wants all of the strategics. So we will take him up on that. We took everything that he could afford. Is this Fast Inca game on YouTube? Asks FJS. Well, sounds interesting. Yes, it is on YouTube. It's the latest upload. We can't really afford to go here right now. Otherwise, we get taken by a barbarian. Usan grows. We need to get some stuff built. Our food is a bit low. We really need to work on the food situation. But we need Colosseums in the worst way. And this cargo... Well, we'll finish this road. This cargo needs to go to the capital. Because we want to explode our capital's growth to have a shot at this. Yeah, we're connected now. We need to work on tiles. So while I would love to... I'm going to start building more roads north, perhaps, but... Yeah. 
We do need to stop working on tiles. And there's a little bit more happiness, but we do now need to spam Colosseums. If, unless we get that trade. That's Genghis all the way over there. Crankadoot says, recently had an Alexander game where I got the worst Petra ever at about turn 150 standard. Lol. <laughs> Lots of people betting on me to, I think, win this rather quickly. I I guess that's good that everyone tr believes in me. There is someone who's swimming against the tide. 310 channel points. 20,000 channel points against no. Wow. Okay, who, who's that that doesn't back us? Oh, Crankadoo says, turned out there was no AI even remotely close to desert. Yeah, that tends to happen. I mean, that's why those things do happen. On deity. This hand axe spawned in the perfect spot. One more turn and we can get rid of this pikeman and the camp. Someone really doesn't back us at all. <laughs> Who is that? We kind of need one of these hills to grow to. Just work production. Well, we don't need this archer over there anymore, fortunately. There's only two salt we didn't settle, and the salt high haven't actually settled it yet either. John G can grow next turn. Oh, we need this fish. That's what we need. It's going to keep growth going. How's our food doing? 123. We're top food. 10% behind. And we can kill that, clear that. Walk this archer forward, hit that, and shoot that. And feel a little bit better about life. Need this. Jonju grew. Yeah, we got this tile. Minneapolis grew. Wasn't concentrating. So we grew to something a little pointless. Probably better to do this because we've got this tile over here. We can work the, We can afford to work the gold in the capital now. Soul grew. Yeah, we do want to work that hill and then we need the Colosseum. We need this trade route from somewhere. I guess the cap can perhaps build it. This is why we're focusing really hard on growing the capital right now. Because we do need to get a lot of stuff built there and into metal casting. Build a road first. That's all. TBO Dota says, What's the typical relationship between quick speed and standard speed for competitive science victories, if there is one? The quick game pace ones are slower because movement is equalized. So, oh, here we go. We've got a road to Hong Kong. We should actually just do that with all these spare workers. Yeah, so the relationship tends to be everything is a bit slower on quick game pace. Relatively speaking, if you were to do the divide by... 0.67 on quick game pace you tend to net victories a bit slower on standard speed because of how worker movement is all so much more and unit movement is also much more inefficient so your settlers settle relatively each settler settles relatively sooner on standard speed because the movement is the same but the production time the production time is scaled but the movement is stays constant and it's the same for war. It's the same for moving workers around things like that. Every misstep per sort of tile or tile assignment is amplified on quick speed. So other maneuvers that kind of help with that matter a lot more. So you tend to see faster victories being played on standard. There goes Borobador. So much for that. To ensure we kill this barbarian, we're going to move this forward. Okay. Just wanted to ensure that barb died. And now we need to get this road over to this city-state. I want to improve these tiles first because of how important working all improved tiles is. And then we'll get straight on to road to Hong Kong. Right now, we need happiness to keep growing. 
So that city state is mega important. Fortunately, we're building Colosseums in three cities. So we got that. We inefficiently grew again, but we got this tile that we can work here. Plus 27 and a half food in the cap. Get this right in there so that it sees all of these tiles. And another Regan worker. Riga 5. I guess at some point we should piece Riga so that we can give all these workers back. <laughs> That's soul linked up. Try and explore maybe north of Egypt with this scout. Still just the road quest here. And then this archer can come back down because we are going to need probably both the archers around here to keep an eye out. Let's make sure to check we can't grow everywhere, which we can't. Massive Apolis did grow, but we took care of that a while ago. This seems okay. Massive Apolis doesn't have that much to build right now, just the Colosseum. Now, but TBO to asks, what's the rule you mentioned? Like, what would be turn 170 equivalent in standard? Yeah, so I think the way it scales is uh, standard speed. So quick game pace is, is two thirds. Quick game pace is two thirds the turn timer of standard game pace. So. 300 turn 300 on standard is turn 200 on quick because two thirds times 300 is 200 and so the way that you convert from quick back up to standard is to divide your turn time on quick quick speed by zero point by two thirds basically so multiply by three and then divide by two And that's the conversion rule. So it's two thirds. So two thirds times the quick game pace turns is the no two thirds times the standard game pace turns is the quick game pace turns, and then what's it? And then plus fifty percent is quick game pace to standard game pace. Let's get these workers doing their thing. I want to leave one worker here to improve tiles around Seoul. I need this production tile online really. And to buy this banana. And then let's get in there. Let's get up there. This is down. And we're working it. Good. National College is done. I would love a workshop. I would also love a cargo. And I would love a Colosseum. Cargo is more valuable for sure. We need an aqueduct to grow Jeonju. We don't really need... Notre Dame is still here, would you believe? But I'm pretty... I, I don't know that we can afford to go for it. But the happiness impact would be huge. Because we do five turns of research and then we risk losing it while we're building it as well. There's not really any food to be gained. And Busan's got a lot to build, so I don't mind this. We probably need to... We kind, we kind of need to send it a trade route, but we can't afford to send it a trade route. We just need to get civil service working for us in Busan. Which is why there's those two workers there. But are, are we ready to grow here? We don't really have a good tile. Oh, wait, we're not working. No, we, we are. We could. Can we exchange this horse for Massive Apolis? I would exchange the horse for Massive Apolis, but until it gets a cargo, we can't really afford to. That's okay. But Duck Chief says, WV, ever watched the Admiral Roaring Currents movie? No, I haven't actually. What is it? It just says, winning a culture victory is harder on quick speed because of the great musician value bug. Oh, that's true as well. Yeah. The great musicians are just worth less. TBR Dota says, damn, I have a ways to go. I was excited about turn 285 on standard game pace or on quick game pace because 285 on standard is brilliant. Is turn 100 the benchmark for NC on standard slash deity? Asks Necrosyn. Yes. I mean, you're looking to get it suit. Yeah, I mean, about turn 100 on standard speed. Yeah, on deity.
We really need these Colosseums to come in. Or trade. TBO Dota says standard. I finally started getting below 300 consistently. 285 is great. I'll be honest with you. Anytime you get below turn 300, it's a great performance. It really is. If you can get to that speed. Because getting below turn 200 is getting to the level where you're saying, I beat Deity every time I don't get killed in the early game. That's what being able to win the game before turn 300 standard speed or before turn 200 quick speed is. You're really getting to that level. Is that you don't lose if you don't get killed early game if you're that good. And so that's what I would say about that. Like it's, a, it's genuinely really good play to be going below turn 300 on standard or below turn 200 on quick game pace. It really is. FJS War says, I've gone in with all my PCJ laws. Don't let me down. I will try my best. <laughs> Are you going to tell me which one you've gone in for? Oh, yeah, number one. I see it. You, you voted that I will do this below turn 200 before turn 170. By the way, that means turn 169 or below 170 counts with the other option. It says, any game one below turn 300 on Deity is definitely good. Exactly. It means you're going to win unless you get killed, basically, before turn 300. That me It means you're that good. So, I wouldn't be down beast about it at all. In fact, I'd be very positive about it. We definitely need Colosseum. I would love to buy a Mosque, but we need another Prophet first. It's getting tough, but if we can get this city-state ally of Hong Kong, we shouldn't be in that much trouble. You guys got Mosque in... Gao. Great Mosque of Jen has been built in Gao. Don't you have Jen? Why not build the Great Mosque of Jen in Jen? Songhai. We might have to denounce you for that later. Alright, let's get these Colosseums done. We can move towards getting our road to Hong Kong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Egypt is coming. We do here. Boom. Return the Songhai missionary. <laughs> that is some more positive influence with the Songhai. We don't have a defensive pact is what we need next. Fetch says, occasionally an AI snowballs hard and goes to space before turn 300, but that does not happen very often. Exactly. That's exactly the point. You're pretty much nailed on to win if you go below, below turn 300 in the early game. That's what, unless the AI has this silly snowball. But it's, we've only happened, had it happen to us once on stream. I guess... I mean, apart, aside from tourism victory attempts, where this thing is kind, kind of just happens every now and again. You get beat because you need to last until like turn 230, quick game pace. But for uh, for a non-tourism, we've only been beaten once in the late game in eight months of Civilization 5. Which is all you need to know about how often the dirty AI goes below turn 200 quick. I guess the Holy Egyptian War is better than a real war, says Veg, yeah. Probably is, in fairness. He stopped coveting our lands, apparently, now. It's good. We've got a couple of Colosseums finishing up over these next few turns. And here is Massive Apolypsis Cargo. Another city connection for some gold. Let's go and get these roads built. And then this, I don't think this has to be a lumber mill. I think we've got more than enough production here. We can chop this down for production and continue improving tiles near Minneapolis. Our spies available. It could be quite big to keep this city-state, this happiness one. And we don't actually have a cultural one available to go into right now anyway. So this is Hong Kong. We need to work on our culture. We've got to bear that in mind. Sistine Chapel might be the play. I mean, there's nothing better to do here anyway. Workshops next or a water mill? A water mill for the food, I think, and then the workshop. <laughs> the Holy War is coming. 
I mean, he's just going to go round, isn't he, if we let him? I don't really want him to go round and convert everything. This is why I didn't want to take my own religion. Because we're getting into this kind of territory with Egypt. But I give up on religions far too frequently. But this one's really rough because we got mosques. I feel like Garden Happiness would have been better. Yeah, we need that research agreement. I feel like Garden Happiness would have been better considering now. Because mosques are really punishing. It's really hard to get your mosques. I mean, the temples and the shrines will work, but... We might as well lean into this now and see what we get. This Garden Happiness is gone. But we might need Temple Happiness. It might be better to just take Temple Culture, actually. And then Spreading. Religious Texts. We definitely need a spread of belief. And we might actually just need to profit spread. But we probably do need to profit spread. We need to improve this farm. I would say probably we definitely need to profit spread right now. Because the, the, this Egyptian religion is going to get everywhere. We're going to have to profit spread it back. And then just hope that he can't get in. Because look, the Songhai one's here now too. Our religion does nothing for us if it's only in the capital. Because we, we kept Earth Mother for a while longer. But we still, we lost, we would have lost Earth Mother at the same rate. But we would have had a planted profit instead or two planted profits. Instead, we're just kind of stuffed like this now. But anyway. Oh, meme, meme 17, welcome to the stream today. Asks, what's the mod on the right side called? It's called Enhanced User Interface. I've just, uh, the mod is linked in chat right now. Meme 17. If you're looking for it. But anyway, Duck Chief says, so the Admiral is Korean. The film revolves around the tight chiller battle of... Myong Yang around 1597, which is regarded as one of the legendary Joseon Admiral Yi Sun Sin's most remarkable naval victories. Oh, interesting. So that's Joseon Admiral Yi Sun Sin. He led only 12 ships which remained in his command to heroic victory against an invading Japanese fleet of 333 vessels. Wow. It's kind of wild, actually. I mean, what were they? Were they 333 fishing boats against 12 frigates or something? <laughs> kind of curious. And still, he won, I guess. Oh, Egypt. Yeah, Egypt does have open borders. Most are better in the sense that the works, it gives you happiness even if you lose religion. I guess that's true. We haven't got any right now. That's the only problem there. If we actually had all of our mosques already, it would be good. But I mean, look at it. Got five missionaries coming into our territory. And this always happens on Deity. That's why I am known to plant my profits quite often and just give up on religion. But, yeah. But it says, on Immortal, I usually take spreads further or spreads faster. Yeah, well, that's what I took. On Deity, I prefer Messiah to let the first let the AI religions run amok and then convert back to my own religion more easily. I probably should have done that, actually. I don't remember if Messiah was there. But yeah, spread of belief, generally spe speaking, is the best idea if, you're, if you've taken a faith building. We're going to struggle now. We're just going to have to purchase a mosque once and then just generate a profit and see what happens. But yeah, Crankadook says, that's what you get for trying to have a religion on deity. I know. I tried. We tried. We should have just planted the profits. There goes Notre Dame. I don't think we'd have got Notre Dame. So that's good that we didn't try for it. I'm a bit conservative with World Wonders, but we've had our YOLO with Colossus for the day. Oh, I guess I should have um, paid a bit more attention to that growth. Minneapolis, yeah, that grew. We, feel, we built the Colosseum. We definitely want a workshop. And then in here, it's also into... We need the Circus Maximus somewhere. Nine turns here. Or we'll take it here. It's nine turns. The city's got a lot of potential. And our food has just gone through the roof because we got civil service. Which is great. 
Yeah, Egypt's coming everywhere. It's totally pointless. Get this quarry. We need to get a couple of workers to Seoul, actually. Workshop here, then. Workshop here, then. And here we go and water mill into the workshop. Look towards education. It's definitely time for it. We can't get Machu, sadly. And we've got this road to Hong Kong. Hopefully that completes the quest. We might have to give them 250 gold, but we might just be able to rig in Hong Kong. Seems okay. We're also, as it happens, not bottom score. We're apparently second score of the people we know. We've got 49 pop on 5 cities turn 77. So we are, for want of a better word, flying right now. 165 food. We're up to 30 food in our capital. 16.1 here. 13.8. 13.8. 5.75. So this is where we need food. Rankadoo says, on the other hand, in a game where you get Colossus, anything is possible. Yeah, that's true. Let's rip up this road to save some gold. Now we've got Hong Kong's alliance. Another civil service farm. Oh, and look. <laughs> Riga's worker. <laughs> yes. Riga 6, please. Still no Lux trades. We should perhaps upgrade some comp bows. But it doesn't feel like we need them yet. This scout went entirely the wrong way. I shouldn't have done it there. Nizov says, It's a misconception that it's hard to get and defend a religion on deity. However, there is an opportunity cost that it isn't worth it in every game. Yeah, I think so. I think I agree with you there. The problem is not about the strength of a religion. It's about how much it would cost me to defend it relative to the one to two profits that I have managed... Well, the one profit that I've managed to generate that I could have planted. And this looks like it's going to be quite an expensive religion defense. So it might not be worth it in this game. Especially because we've got mosques on here. It, it really does depend, doesn't it? But, yeah... Bitch says, I try to avoid open borders if I can in the mid game and if I have a religion to discourage missionaries in the late game to reduce tourism pressure. Yeah, I know. I I genuinely didn't expect to get a religion once I saw that there was one left for a good 10 turns. But apparently we got one. So, yeah. Then maybe I shouldn't have just given Egypt the open borders, but he's here now. He probably would have converted all this stuff. Any I mean, the deity AI is not exactly shy about converting your cities over are they so and it's going to be the same cost to convert these all back regardless of whether or not egypt converts a few because we're going to need to profit all four out anyway nick Christian asks how many workers is that now it's six from riga cranker says i guess getting any religion for the sake of getting it isn't that hard exactly but a good and a good and strong religion that you can defend i will say as well is indeed another topic Yeah, we just need to chop down a lot of this river. Oh, the scout died. Looks like we're not getting any more of Riga. That means we can piece them then. We actually did need all of these workers as well. We're using them all right now. We'd have had to build a bunch if we actually needed to... Hey, workers. Oh, oh, thank you. I was going to ask if you could turn the light on, but it's already on. Thank you. Oh, no. Well, let's cross here and then start getting more roads. See if we can travel through Egyptian territory. That, 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 that. Put a mine on that. Massive Apolis can grow if we find it. 2.35 food. We can do that. Cap will grow. 
Probably want to keep it growing like a steam train. Soul is going to grow as well. I need more workers. Good job we've stolen six. Okay. Which says, yeah, matter of luck. That's true. Quite often the AI doesn't take follow production. Exactly. The goaders are sometimes left. Missionaries are mostly harmless, but when I want to defend my religion, I many times have to declare war on AIs that send prophets your way. I guess that's true. Like war, prophets, blocking them, that sort of stuff. It's a lot of stress to defend your religion. I, I find. There's now a prophet and four missionaries. We might genuinely just be generating another prophet and planting it or something. I might just give up on the mission, on the religion. Massive Apolis grows. Yep. Soul grows. Okay. Minneapolis grows. Yes. Why well, want to work the workshop slot? Because well, we're Korea. We already get the secularism bonus. Workshop done here. We should probably grab a... There's quite a lot of good stuff that could be done right now. Watermill is more food and production. Temple for the faith sounds like it's necessary. Let's improve this tile and then keep going with this road. Road here and just clear this for a civil service farm. This is a new civil service farm for John Jew. It's up to plus 11 and a half food now. I don't know what Egypt's units are doing. We're going to have to keep an eye on those. That grows John Dewey even more. Great. Who can work this? This says he can work this. A quarry for soul. Yeah, more work is required. The Dutch says, old man comes into your city talking about his god and you just start a war on the whole nation for it. <laughs> Lol, yeah. Yeah, religious community is very good and it's very helpful. And it's a shame it was gone. Hello, Assyria. Welcome to this game. And Arabia's got ivory available. I guess we'll buy it off of him. Because I know that we've got a quest for that. Or uh, we love the King's Day for it, at least. Which we do. It was in Seoul. Marble to Askia just ended. I think he, had, he already had it anyway. Silver for salt. And we were just giving Marble away for free. Can we buy the open borders back the other way from Egypt? Thank you. At least we've got that. When are we going to expand to this? Five turns. Okay. We've improved all of these tiles around here too. We're starting to get really quite ahead of our improvements. It's a good thing. It means that we can dedicate our workers to improving some other cities. Need two food to grow here. Don't think that's possible. Education in one turn. So we're ready to start building unis in one city. There are some cities that are a little bit behind. Can't really, can't really be buying any, I guess. Maybe we should sell the marble. We were giving it away for free. We don't really need it to trade. But we could sell it for a stack of gold per turn. Try eight. Okay. Spam missionaries into Egypt's land to see how he likes it, lol. <laughs> Yeah. I want to get one mosque. Like, let's just get one mosque. He wants my spare salt. I mean, we don't... I guess we don't need it. I could sell it. What's this? Tyre wants a trade route. We could sell the salt, I guess. I don't... I didn't really want to, but we need gold. Egypt likes us. He'll give us eight gold per turn for the salt as well, he'll do. It's kind of crazy. 
Well, there's the temple. We'll go straight into the university. We can go into university after this workshop and a university after this workshop. University here after the workshop, I guess. And then the university here and then the workshop in this city that's building the Circus Maximus. Circus Maximus is not that desperate, so we can go for the university now. And then we can push for our Renaissance entry. Sadly, we're going to have to take a filler policy. Might just take piety. Do we have any more temples to build? One temple, two temples. So no, we've only got like two temples to build. So piety is not the play. Patronage, maybe. Maybe it's aesthetics for the extra great people. Not entirely sure what we do with this. Go there and wait. I need some fishing boats at some point too. Got more iron to sell. It's good for gold. Venice appears to be buying a lot of the world's iron. Has he built a load of frigates or something? Nice pop doing. 54 pop. Five cities turn 82. Perfect. Benchmark. Low benchmark would be 55. We're there. And we still got 18 turns to go. Commerce since there's a science where it says black vegetable. That's true. Commerce indeed. When he just land Farrow, Farrow, let my workers go long. No, we're not going to renew that. He's not going to leave our lands, but we might as well just not renew it for symbolism. Have we met all the AIs yet? No. Still one unmet civilization. Commerce in case we can do spaceship pot purchasing. I don't see a reason why this wouldn't be a freedom game. We do need to crunch through some production there. Our right, city probably needs a caravan. Yeah, we want to work specialists in all of these cities because we are Korea. <laughs> so we can get the immediate secularism bonus. Minneapolis grew. We're working some bad tiles here. Need to fix that. Let's make sure all the tile assignments are correct. We're working all of the food here. Working all of the good tiles here. Working everything we should be here. Working everything we should be here. One turn to grow. We've got this. And doing good here. Okay. Feels all right. Don't really want to miss the opportunity to grow these coastal cities. Absolutely massive. But at the same time, Busan really does seem like it needs some support. In a big way. I mean, that's probably where we need to be gold purchasing things if we can. I've got this 42 gold per turn, which we might be able to use to gold purchase a university in there. This, though. That's a food tile. We want it. No, we don't want to give you six gold per turn anymore. You did like us. Now we've bribed you. We're not going to do any more. There could be an AI north of Egypt. This city really does need a workshop. Is this a mosque? No, it's one of these other random buildings. We're getting to that point now where we seem to have just a couple too many workers. But we don't yet. We still need more. So we're not there yet. We need to chop. We need to get this tile up there. I guess this game's also a bit slow because we got a lot of jungle. Could also be a thing. Let's see if we can sell more iron. We're going to need all of the purchases we can get. It would have been nice to get something like Machu Picchu. But it is gone. It's 
been built by the unmet player. We still need to figure out culture, but that's why we're going in for acoustics. We can be building it on turn 88. Bitch says, remember to queue up a tech because the university in your cap will give a science boost. Good point. I had acoustics queued. I guess that's good. Because we do want to get there ASAP. Oh, Necrosin asks, what's your rule when of when to chop jungle? I mean, I... Unless I've got a massive river, I always chop freshwater jungle because the freshwater farm, the food is just at such a such a premium in the base maps in Brave New World Civilization 5 that you you have to chop pretty much every tile that's got fresh water to make it a civil service farm. The but if I've got tons, then I would leave the jungle behind for a, a science trading post. For example, this city of Busan's got too many hills, so we're going to leave all of these hills with jungle on them to be just put trading posts on for later because we don't need them for the production. So generally, yeah, civil service tiles. I'm almost always chopping, unless the city has already got tons and tons of food. Otherwise, I'm generally keeping it for trading posts. It says, I know I've told PC, however, maybe there's somebody in chat who hasn't heard it. A creative player, Tiberiu, had this crazy religion game on Deity. He achieved 672 faith per turn. Yes, of course, I remember. Even the religious AI didn't stand a chance, lol. How did he manage that? Was it just like a desert map with desert faith? Kind of a crazy amount. I really shouldn't have done that. We needed the gold for all sorts of good things. I don't know, the research agreement is actually quite highly valuable. One turn into acoustics. Wow, okay. We do need guilds though. So maybe I can build my writer's guild. One turn until we get this tile. See if we can meet this other AI, whoever they are. There's this road. So Busan is finally connected. Improve that. We, as we said, we need to chop down this civil service. Yeah, all of these, they can't be gotten down. Massive Apolis can be gotten down, but I mean, it can't. It's kind of already there. Minneapolis needs a good tile to grow to. We want to work the uni slot straight away. So that's what we do here. We finish this? No. We're kind of running out of food in Minneapolis, actually. Pop 18. We're only plus 16 food right now. That's concerning. We need to get a, a caravan, right? That's the solution here, is a caravan. Because we don't have any food. I guess a water mill, too. But I think the solution's a caravan, which feels... Oh, no. No, we just had a trade route end. We're back to plus 26. All is good. But it says, actually, I totally forgot that you had planted... If you had planted the prophet, she would have also gotten science from the holy sites. Oh, yeah, good point. I forgot that as well. That would have been so good. I, If I'd remembered that as well, I would have just planted them. I, I would not have even cared what anyone said in chat. If I'd remembered that I got science from the holy sites, I too would have planted them. Andevanti. I just gave him a horse for free. Whoops. Oh, well. John G finally grew here. Which is good timing. Minneapolis grows again. Sistine's nine turns. I guess. So I, I mean, I would quite like the Writers Guild first at this point. Although, that's a bit risky to do that. I have to say, it's actually very risky. I'm not entirely sure that's a good idea to be that risky about it. Oh, let's grab a trade route with Compass. I guess we'll unlock the turtle ship. Want to work one of these tiles over here if we can. We can't because this city needs all of the food tiles it can get. Still no culture of city-states, but I'm pretty sure that's because our, our scouting has been pants rather than bad luck. What do we need to do here? Maybe just chop down a couple of hills. And finally put a mine on one of these. 
Venice has already munched a city-state. Yeah, we need to unlock trading posts. Like she says, I feel like a good religion game centers a religion game religion games are making your religion strong by defense early game by making sure your inquisitors and missionaries are in your cities instead of you trying to spread your religion. I guess that's true. I mean, in general, a good religion game, especially on deity, just relies on not having AIs near you that are spreading everywhere and having a real strong faith pantheon. Is our writer's guild, so we can secularism bonus the hell out of this again. Plus 22, nice. I mean, we don't have secularism, but you know what I'm talking about. Is this still the same turns? We can't get... There's no way of getting the Sistine Chapel down. So we'll just do this so that we grow more. Another civil service farm for Busan. I don't think... I, I really don't think it's actually worth us keeping our religion here. We should just chill with what we've got in the capital. We were supposed to buy a mosque here and we forgot because we boosted too early with the university. Well, what do we do here? Wait for this hill. Perfect. I mean, the, the low food in our capital is not that much of a problem, in fairness. Because we're already pop 18 on turn 87. You forget that it's turn 87 right now. And we're apparently top score of who we know with 64 pop and 5 cities. So we're flying. We've got Colossus. 201 food. I mean, we can open borders with Genghis. I have no idea why he wants it. He goes forbidden. Good job we weren't trying for that. Compass has been acquired. Need to find a spot to build that caravan. We do want one caravan, don't we? We really do need a caravan. Don't need all the cargoes being cargoes. John Jew, Massive Apolis has got they've all got great food. I, I I hate giving up a caravan, but I feel like we need one a cargo, but I feel like we need one here. Yeah, not not quite at the turtle ships yet. Jeez. All of this jungle now has got science on it. Need guilds so that we can start spamming trading posts on this stuff. That might be what we do here. We also need to try and get these university slots worked. So how do we do that? Because this city's food is just going to tank if we do it. In quite a big way. Guess we can do that. And then... It's quite early as well. We'd, we don't have to work them all yet. But we could do with getting started. Somewhere like Massive Apolis can perhaps just grow into it. The other AI must be behind Venice somewhere. This is getting first or second religion and getting the spreading going early. Yeah, true. True. The buildings. I mean, th ideally, yeah, if you've got all the faith to buy all the buildings and convert back, you would do that in the ideal world, I agree. Salute. Massive Apolis grows. Yeah, university in one turn, and then we're going to go away and just work it. Here, we're going to grow. We've got the university. We want to go straight into working the slots. Already working a bunch of mines that we don't need to be working. Definitely need the Circus Maximus now. We're actually starting to feel a bit of a happiness shortage coming. Need to get trading posts. Really needed the artist skill by now. But alas, we're building a world wonder. I'm just going for science. Maybe we should plant this first academy. I don't quite know what the deal is. With the first academy right now. The Jonju grew. Yep, good. Horses to horses to everybody ended, it seems. 
Far by old walk. Egypt never seems to want to do a good deal for our horses. I guess Genghis wants it. Minneapolis. Yeah, we already handled this. We're building sustain still. Oh, there's a little bit of land out here. That might be where we find the other AI. What do we need here next? No guilds for sure. Stable. We're still we're only working one horse tile, so no. Markets, forges. I mean it'll make this iron tile better, but it's only one iron tile. We good for building units later. Arbors, markets. Probably just get going on amphitheaters for Hermitage. We want to give up one of these two one tiles to work the university? I think so. Where are we working uni slots then? Almost everywhere, actually. Memphis. I want to drop trading posts in these jungle tiles. Once we've chopped all this jungle to try and convince our borders to grow. Do that for sure. Grow in Busan now. How's Busan's food doing? Still pretty bad. We need to send it a trade route and that'll allow us to work the uni slots. So I think that's a good use of a trade route. Two research agreements. Not friends with Egypt. It says, I usually aim for 75 to 150 faith per turn for a great religion game. Yes. It would be quite nice. But definitely not possible for us right now. Really do hope we get sustained. Let's queue up the artist guild if we don't. We also need a garden. Need a lot of buildings, which means we need to grow the cap. Busan can keep doing its thing. Plus 9.2 food. It needs this caravan. Plus 14. That's much better. And dyes are available over here. And what do we build? Garden for sure. Four turns. Well, while we're waiting, start a trading post. I guess you can just wait. Not like we need much. Usain could build an observatory. We should think about that. That scout might have just died. No way it's growing next turn. We are getting more happiness finally. Songhai aren't doing very well. Three cities, 42 pop. Five cities, 53 pop. We might have gotten screwed by the AI being bad here because we're top score. John Ju loves the king though. Oh, I'm glad to hear about that. That'll give it a nice boost. Hey. Done a good job on most of our tiles. I'll have a quick scout around Egyptian land. Yeah, we nearly died there with a the scout. Glad it didn't. It did nearly die. Wait. Lumber mill. What do we got going on? More stuff to be sold, apparently. But wild. This is the only problem with doing all of this cheesing. Is the need to just... Like, every turn you're doing something like this, almost. And it's really boring. <laughs> this is why I don't often do it unless I need it. Because of how boring it is, but... We kind of need it right now, because we're on a pretty sick science run, hopefully. Turn 92, we've got 69 population. Seems pretty crazy, actually, if, if we really think about it. <laughs> Very nice though. 69 pop. Nice. 70 pop now. Not so nice. Work food. University done. Garden. Yeah, it's a garden. We need to work these slots. We need to give up production to work them. Try and give up something a bit lackluster like that food to do it. Not great, but I think we have to. We've got plus 12 food anyway. That's perfectly fine. A leaning tower. I mean, we've got no chance of a leaning tower because we're not using an engineer. 
But it's always nice to think about it for like one minute before you realise that you can't do it. Civil service farm here. Probably more valuable than working this science right now, isn't it? Just to crunch through some stuff. Maybe not that science. So are we working double universities everywhere? Wow. We're working all of our university slots. And four out of five workshop slots by turn 93. And we need another... We need another something. Do we need a cargo? Probably. Cargos are a lot of food. Stoll doesn't really need it now. Busan doesn't really need it. Minneapolis is probably doesn't really need it either. So I guess we need another cargo, which means here is where we build it. Keep waiting there. We should try and buy this tile, ideally. This is a big deal. Just buy this and improve it. We're ready to grow. Good, we're ready. I actually weren't ready here. What do we got? I don't really, don't really want to grow to anything pointless, but the best tile is this one. Guess we could lose the production in here to... Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Black Vegetable says, let's see. So it's an interesting thing, the AI doing well or not. Yeah, I guess it's true. So sometimes half the AI are doing piety into irrelevance, but sometimes they're doing so well they're stealing all the wonders. But for a good science game, you need a decent AI. I agree, because you need to chase them for quite a long way. I had a T165 science run the other day where I still got a discount on Atomic Era ticks from the AI. Wow. Yeah, that's a big bonus. But I would I would share your agreement. Like, chasing the AI is quite a big part of why Deity can be so quick. And, yeah, being quite close to the AI can be quite tough for something like that. Trading post, please. What are we doing here? Maybe this tile we can cut down and then the rest we can leave. Sand's going to grow, but we're ready for it. I guess we're going to use printing press to find the other AI. 15. Let's hope we don't lose it now. We're close. Yeah, I think I would agree. Like, the chasing discount is big, but also the amount of research that you get from research agreements as well. The better the AI are doing, the more you get from that. But it's just no World Congress, right? Yeah, you would attempt leaning anyway. Probably should. I mean, it's 718. I don't think anyone's got it. Because no one's got economics. Like, the cap is so far behind in its queue, though. I really don't want to attempt leaning after having just spent nine turns building a world wonder. We've got started on our scientists so early, I just don't think that scientist generation... And we've got four garden cities. I just don't think that scientist generation is going to be the limiting factor in this game. I mean, it might be. And I could totally eat my face right now for having said that. <laughs> leaning is a top quality wonder. But it might be a bit much, because we still have to get our artists skilled up. We still have to... We'll just have to think about it when we look at the capital in a minute. Heal the scout. Wants us to get jewellery. Over here. We've got porcelain. I'm guessing jewellery is available over here. It is 154 influence. 75. Yeah, we're not really doing that. Should save this gold for a public school purchase anyway, I think. Or a lab purchase. No time for leaning tower pizza, I think. Says Nizef. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. We got Sistine at least. That'll help. We are five city tradition, so our culture is pretty poo. I feel like we'd plunge ourselves into a terrible culture situation by trying to build the leaning tower. I don't know if anyone's feeling the same way, but we've got 31 culture right now, and we still haven't found a cultural city state. Just propose the World's Fair. Because I think we need the World's Fair as well. Oh, here we go. Here's the tile that we want. It's 
Take this food. We definitely don't need another cargo here, but maybe a cargo back to Massive Apolis would go a long way. Minneapolis. So that 20 food, that's good enough. Because, yeah. I think that, yeah, Black Venture says, sometimes a research agreement with a poor AI is less than half a tech. Exactly. It's why I was wondering whether or not I'd regret it because both these AIs, but all the AIs are doing badly. Oh, Veg says, have you bought a mosque in the cap yet? No, I haven't. Let's at least do that. <laughs> There's a bit of culture. And one turn this water mill for a bit of food. But yeah, third, FGS War says, could it be built in another city? I, I mean, I, yeah, we could try it. Seoul's got a bit of time. It's, it's going to take about 14 turns to build. But Seoul has built an amphitheatre by the time we get there. Oh no, I'll, we'll have to think about it. But yeah, N Black Vegetable says, Niz, if I guess you and PC are right, it's such a standard play for me that sometimes it does not occur to me to not attempt it. Yeah, I think this is the way that... I mean, I approach Wonders a bit differently to a lot of people. I don't really want to... I don't really I don't really know what the best choice is. But the way I see it is we've just spent nine turns building a Wonder. If we're aiming to go sub T160... Nine turns is, I mean, what's that? That's one sixteenth. So that's like 6% of a whole game. And we're just going to turn around and build another leaning tower for 6% of the whole game as opposed to actually trying to fix our culture and our gold. Because the moment we're done with leaning, we're going to need to build public schools. And we're just going to get into a massive problem in the capital. It's turn 97 for our first scientist, so I don't think that we should be planting this. If we if we have ambition for a good victory time, we don't we shouldn't be planting that. And then this writer can chill. Garden done here. Great. Temple. Down here. There's so much stuff that needs to be built here, but a garden first. I guess because we didn't build a garden in the capital, that's why it took so long. We can start to turn our gold around by getting some of these trading posts up. I don't know why I'm here chilling in these bananas. Just move. This says, how many, asks how many AIs are printing press now? None? 718 is the standard cost, right? It feels like none. Looking at the building queues, I'm starting to agree with skipping leanings as FGS4. Uh, I, guess, I guess me and Nizef are convincing everybody. It's, it's, not, it's not easy to convince everybody to skip leaning and it's not often a great choice. But we've been working. Or when did I say we've been working? We've been working all of our university specialists since turn like, what, what was it? Like 88 or something? We've been working all of our university specialists and we've got five cities. Is leaning, is, is scientist generation going to be the problem here? I just don't know. I don't think so. I think culture is going to be the problem right now. Which means we need to propose World's Fair, for one, and win it. And then grab economics. Although, I doubt we're going to have... What's, what's all this about? This dude doing? I mean, he's done, so we can just do that. We are working this. We've got plenty of jungle, too. Don't know what I'm doing with that work. I'm just strolling around like a, like a lemon. Turn 98. Pop check. 76. Crazy. Artist skill done one turn sooner. I would like that. It says, if no AI is at printing press yet, you could try it in the, in the next band. If it works, it works. I guess that's true. You could try it in Seoul. Ah, oh, Ethiopia. Hello. Probably the time to trade spices for salt. No, let's just buy it. Let's not be. Let's not try and be silly about it. Just in case we need the happiness, we'll do it properly. Take to propose. World's fair. Yes. And we can work the artist guild. 
Arden. And then uh, this harbor's just chilling in the queue for no reason. But I'm pretty sure it needs to be... Might even need to be Musician's Guild. It could be one of those games. Opera House. Zoo. Opera House, I guess. Opera House. Listen, it's not... I mean, leaning is... is it's 16 turns. That could be 10% of an entire game. Let's not be silly about it. And just not build leaning. <laughs> be sensible Civ 5 players. Need to try and work this. Don't want to give up. I don't really like giving up science for it. Perhaps we shouldn't. We might have too many workers now. It might be time to see if we can find ourselves a barb camp. Could be one right there. Let's go have a look. See if we can feed them all. Don't really know if there's any use doing anything more with this jungle. Venice wants more iron. Finally, someone Sorry. wants it. It's got 122 gold per turn already. Ethiopia likes Leaning Tower. Okay, interesting. Probably shouldn't go for it then. Let's see. FGS War says, I would be thinking about the free engineer, to be honest. Leaning also helps with culture, writer generation, etc. But I wouldn't build it in the capital, I think. And here's the thing as well. If we build, if we built the Leaning Tower, we wouldn't build the National Epic. The National Epic is cheaper and it does the same job for great person generation. It's the, the way I always think about the World Wonders is they have to be in addition to whatever it is you have, not instead of. Otherwise, you're just spending longer building buildings for the same thing. So if we built Leaning, we would never have time for the National Epic. So why not just build the National Epic over Leaning? Especially because the Great Engineer is not technically free. It will increase the cost of our scientists. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how it works. National Epic is only one city, of course. Yeah, it is one city, I guess. That's um the I guess that is the downside. But again, leading 16 turns or like nine turns while racing an AI on turn 99. While we already have a ton of other things to worry about in our cities, it's it feels really tough. And of course we're gonna have to build World's Fair in the middle of all of this nonsense as well. Whatever it is we're doing temple because we need the faith done a really bad job of i mean how did how did we fail so hard at scouting did i just not look everywhere i guess so i've not built i've not i've never built a trireme and i'm coastal with three cities i guess that's how we failed <laughs> whoops i'm just randomly moving these workers around i don't really I'm not really even doing oh I'm not really even doing anything of use. Just strolling workers around. Maybe I should send a worker to scout. This cargo from John Jew to Massive Apolis. There we go. If yes, War says, trust your instincts, PC. My points are at stake, lol. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Oh no, I don't really know how I feel. This is usually aimed to have leaning tower pieces done by T150 on standard speed if I go for it. Yeah, it's not happening for us. It is turn 100. We've got 78 population. But it says, I guess we're used to small maps. Also, can't build any caravels. Yeah. I mean, we still don't have a trireme. I'm not entirely sure it would have got us around in this area easier. But I mean, would we have ever made it to Ethiopia? I don't know. Inland, 15 pop Addis Ababa. It was bad. We got a research agreement to come through. Oh, we're, we've not been working the workshop here because we took ages to build it, actually. I think we just finished it. Friendship expired with Arabia and so did our research agreement. Let's have that back. Ethiopia's top score, really. Eight cities, 86 pop. He's the guy we need to be friends with. We haven't known each other long enough. What are you on about? So if this will convince you. Do you like us now? With them. We've, do we've donated to your political campaign, Mr. Haley Selassie. Will you like us now? I was going to actually do something useful before I got distracted being being dumb there. Temple's done. Amphitheatres. Unless we need zoos, which we don't. Do we go into factories? 
Seven turns to schools. If we're going to get an artist in seven turns, we might as well just go for scientific theory. AI is... I mean, how's, how's tech? We're 2% behind the AI. Yeah, okay. We, we don't need to really rush for factories. We can probably go in the radio way. We need a trireme as well somewhere. Which means here. Oh, we can only build... Oh, here's the trireme. Let's build one. Scientists shouldn't be standing on a road. That's just annoying. Yes, just wait there. Okay. Just trying to figure out if there's anything else we need to do with the workers. We might just be deleting all of Riga's workers. It might not be possible. Versus, I think you're about to build Globe Theatre, lol. <laughs> Would love to build the Globe. But we're actually building gardens. What's the timing on this thing? 17 turns until the session. Standing army tax is in. Wow. Wouldn't want to be the AI with the biggest army. Maybe we could just send some of these scouts ye yeeting themselves around the map. We don't actually have astronomy. There's a settler in there. Lol. We might just get stepped on, but I figured that it's as good a time as any to try something a bit YOLO like that right now, because otherwise that scout is totally pointless. Yeah, okay. It's a good job we're getting ahead of Hermitage buildings, though. I feel like we need that. We could maybe... No, this archer actually needs to get back there. I don't know what I'm doing with it. But that, that can yeet itself around the world, at least. Because Hermitage does need to get built, and rather rapidly... It's just, they're, they're just asking for it but we can't afford to do it see what we can do with this trireme no point sending it north I guess but there's probably a bunch of city states down this coast that we haven't found see if this scout gets out no it got wrecked it's probably to be expected we've been gifted a pikeman well let's auto explore this archer then and might as well just explore with the trireme. If we can get round. Amphitheatre needed. Stoneworks would be good. I mean, it's only one marble, though. Probably just an amphitheatre. Let's not annoy Hong Kong. We can see past it. It's going to click auto explore. Let it try and meet some city states for us over end turns. We do have too many workers, don't we? We really do. Let's just delete a... I don't know. Delete a Regan one. This one, Riga 3. Yeah, alright. Not like we can give it back to Riga. Gonna sleep some of these. Hmm, open borders with Egypt sounds like a... Egypt, Ethiopia sounds like a bad idea. Everyone likes us. There goes leaning, turn 103. We'd have never got it. Built by Harun al-Rashid. Minneapolis grew. Great. Keep fooding it for now, because we're about to need to work the Musicians Guild. We're going quite well. This is going well. Don't want to jinx it, you know, but it is going well. Could do with this hill now here. Mine. Wait. Down there. Wait. Oh no. YOLO. Oh, Hong Kong, you're blocking my way. Massive Apolis, yes please. How's food? 236. We're top food. 4% behind in tech. We're going to be first to schools here. Is Arabia. We know Arabia's gone up somewhere dumb down here in like metal, uh, like someone's at chemistry, for instance. I guess we can try and buy a school in the capital. That feels like a good idea right now because we do need to do a bit of hermitage stuff. 
FGS Wolf says, <laughs> good, good thing you didn't listen to me, RE leaning, lol. <laughs> yeah. I should ban a pal and Genghis at war. I bet that's been going for a while. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, I feel like I've just lucked into a reasonable... Should we just build the Grand Temple? That's faith. We kind of need it. Porcelain's here. National Epic. Musicians Guild needs to be worked. Don't really want to give up this gold, but this is like 2 1 tiles, fine. Five turns to grow still. That's taken our culture up to 50. I think we just need to work on Hermitage. I think we need to make the sensible play. Culture's definitely going to be the leaning fact the the limiting factor right now. Although Grand Temple would be quite nice. Uh, we can we can find the time to build the Grand Temple if we purchase a public school in the capital. So why don't we go for Grand Temple? see what's down here finding a cultural city state might be a bit moot right now but let's try it anyway although if the cap's going to tr be trying to oxford radio i don't know well, we can probably try it we can probably figure something out with factories there's some white boats need to be built at some point too that's true they do need to be built at some point i wonder if that if i wonder if now should have been the time for those white boats actually there goes globe Maybe I'll actually take that piece of advice. I was thinking about work boats a little while ago. Massive Apolis grows. Good. Salt on wine with Askia ended. We need that back. Askia's still not hooked up his own salt or he's trading it away. Do we need to try and work on Stamakan because they've got jewellery? Because jewellery is required for Hong Kong. We're, if we do this, we'll get in just in time, won't we, for Samarkand? Opera House done. Oh, great. Opera House is done. Nice. Zoo. <laughs> need happiness now. And we just need to do Opera. This city didn't even ever do, build its water mill. Don't really need it now. We're Pop 17. <laughs> and then our artist in one turn to Golden Age for schools. Feels good. Okay. Don't need to pay for his open borders anymore. This says Grand Temple is just awesome. Definitely one of the most underrated buildings in the game. I agree. I do agree. It's so little that I actually get to do it on Deity. I do agree. Just drop this down. A little bit of fish. That's a bit of gold too. Oh, we just got a spy and I was being dumb. I should have just left my spy in Samarkand. Oh, in Samarkand in Hong Kong. Oh, well. Right, a few deals ended. Which we need to get back. This silver we need. I guess I was buying it. Then try and sell this horse to Ethiopia. We've got salt spare. Oh, can I not do salt with Haran al-Rashid? I guess not. What do we do here? 11.5 food like that. Feels good. Public school. Public school. Public school. No need for public school. Public school. Then we can just purchase. And work the slot. And then choose research. Enter for coal so that we know where it is. And we can golden age. Let's get all these schools down. I really do think if this doesn't end up being as fast as we'd hoped, it, it will be because we our culture's too bad. Stone 107, we still don't have secularism. World's Fair is not until 12 more turns either. Spare marble here. Can we trade it? We were giving it away for gold. It says, just a reminder to assign the first the tech before buying the public school. Oh, did I do that? Oh no, we've got 825 production towards industrialization. I hope I did. 
minutes. I didn't pay enough attention, though, because I could have easily missed that. Just flog the iron. And Genghis wants some more. We've got loads of Luxes available. It seems some deals just kind of ended. And we haven't been able to do the trades were powering them, whatever they were doing. For whatever reason. So I guess we keep giving it away now. There are someone else who would do the salt for a better deal, perhaps. Okay, there is apparently. This world is really friendly. Okay, well, this try room is a bit useless. So much for that. Minneapolis can grow in one if we find it a little bit of food. Like that then. Okay. Looks like it does not matter. Oh yeah, sometimes when I don't queue up a tech, completing a research agreement goes into something you don't want. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I really shouldn't have done it like that. 67 culture per turn is not good. We built a garden. I think we need the national epic. National epic was cheaper earlier. I guess we're working less production now. In for industrialization. We do have coal. We've got two sources. Mine that straight away. That's a seven. And this is a three. Great stuff. Wonder what the iron here. Okay, two sources of coal. That's ten total. We're all good for the factories. And now we've got that. I guess we head for electricity. Astronomy. And electricity. Astronomy is one turn. We're not really... Yeah. John Ju, yeah, let's keep it up. Nowhere to go up there. Got anywhere to grow in here? We do. We're not actually working the gold in the capital right now. We should do that. Looks like we need National Epic next. I don't know if I should redo this deal. I need to check that for the salt. This says, just put a late hanging gardens in the next span with Lake Victoria. Wow, that seems like an interesting combo. <laughs> that is wild. There goes another research agreement. And we've just gone unhappy. Because I was being careless, I think. Certainly was. Not built enough zoos. And the happiness was too dicey. This city-state. Need to give it a gift. Maybe. Saluti. Benissimo. I wonder if there's like a, a solo AI Lux that we can buy off them right now. Silk, maybe. It's at least a quest for someone. Genghis. Could do that. Give away the marble. 16. 17. 18. It's a quest as well. It's quite a lot of gold. We got to work on the other city state earlier. I guess we didn't get the rig in, or we are going to get the rig in next turn. So, oh, there's a, there's a this available. A pearls. We, we have to pay for that now, because we've given away all of our salt. Where is this happiness, unhappiness from? Oh, we stopped being allies with Hong Kong. Ethiopia got that much. Fifth. Jeez. 
Well, we got secularism now. Jews host. Might as well make it Arabia. Means we probably should be building a zoo. I'll actually put this somewhere. So these dudes want a gift of gold. 168 behind. Well, that's turned out really badly. Because we're five away. I mean, it's this, Hong Kong. 23% chance. If we give them a gift of gold, it'll be down to how much? 28. 61% chance. That's not really good enough for a coup. They need jewellery, which is what Samarkand's got. We're 123 behind there. Could maybe take out a loan and give another gift. Might be a good idea. Assalamu alaikum. Mada kunta taqool? تعالى دعنا نتاجر بالطبع لا تعالى دعنا نتاجر كلا اي كلا then maybe we can try and grab another 42 for two here and then we can grab hong kong minus one is it still okay it's quite bad. I didn't ex expect it to be minus one, but at least we can get happy now. I should have just bought another Lux off an AI somewhere. That was just as expensive. Well, when the zoo finishes... Three turns. Still got quite a lot of spare food. I guess. Veg says, I'm signing off for the night. Good luck with the remaining 58 turns at most, says the Black Vegetable. Thanks. Hopefully. Hopefully. 10 GPT. Man, just a couple of turns after we sold all of our last Luxes as well. It's unreal. Bad luck. So these too many turns of unhappiness don't cost us. It's coal. So we can start selling some coal. I mean, we need to build factories, but we're about to get more coal. We can afford to sell five coal. So it's 148, 178, 183. Hopefully I just didn't mug myself there with the coal sale. Let's maybe sell the iron for 37 here. Can't sell any more coal. We do have two horses, though. Yes, have a good evening, Black Vegetable. I hope there are only 38, 58 turns left as well. Yeah, see, it would be a shame, but if it does happen, it will be these defining unhappy turns that make it. Minus one. Just one more zoo would have done it. There's 35 influence here, but we're so far behind. We should give it to them, though. Don't really want to be friends with Genghis Khan. World's Fair for Free Thought could be coming up in a minute. Eight turns until session. Find some more natural wonders would do it, actually. Minus eight gold per turn now. It's kind of crazy. Public school's finishing up. It's a good tire for Soul to work. I really need all this food. Yeah. So we get happy at least. No to the open borders. Ideology happiness could help. Augusta desires Big Ben. We're happy. Red route's over. 
Don't know that this needs to be food to Minneapolis. We'd get away with just production. Discovered two aluminium. What's our population like? 90 already. Oh no. Do need factories. I need to be really careful about what grows. So it's almost better as aluminium right now. But we've got aluminium to sell. Don't know how much we need hydro plants. We're better, better off getting factories first. A turns for a factory here. Public school slot needs to be worked. Same here. We need gold. So it might be worth dipping two turns into a market before heading for this factory in the capital. Ideology happiness will hopefully help. I don't think it matters to go in on radio though. So we can maybe do that just to accelerate getting freedom. I think it, it might it might be order here actually. Well, I don't know. It's difficult in a situation like this to know what to do. Hey aluminium, we'll only need four. See if we can stabilize the gold per turn like this. And we won't need it for a while. We've got this other eight aluminium. So we can do our best. Stop losing science. Whenever I felt vindicated by my unusual desires to hold on to luxuries, I believe it's now. <laughs> universal suffrage would be pretty big. Nine turns. We can we can take universal suffrage in nine turns, I think. As much as I would like humanism and free thought, though. Need hermitage in soon. <laughs> right after these factories. Yeah, didn't do a good job of finding the natural wonders, I think. That might be where this has gone a little bit awry as well, because that would be a couple of points of happiness. Whatever city we grow... Let that massive apple grow, because we can grow it twice. We'll just have to manage this for a couple of turns, because we're nowhere near building zoos. Stop. Got a market. Oh, so our gold's now at minus six. Like that. Yes, we had a lot of horse sales. 92. Did we build a market and it didn't make any difference? Did we finish a whole bunch of other expensive buildings? We did. We did finish public schools. Okay. Well, since we can't grow this place... I guess we give up a growth tile for the moment. So that. And then in here, same. We're working all the specialists now. Can't even really grow the cap. What are we doing here? 136. That's a long way. We don't have any gold. Need more gold. Which we can't get. Zoo. This one's building a zoo here. I don't think we need that. It needs to be the factory. It's an observatory here. This is also stuck behind an opera house though. You feezy. I mean we need the happies to keep growing. So I think we are going to take the happiness. The third scientist. John Ju. Might be that we just hard build the last part. We really could do with the culture. We have to not finish rationalism, so be it, I guess. Minus four now. What happened there? 
the deal just expire that we were using? Where does that come from? Zero, zero. No one's selling it anymore. Whatever it was. Saluti. Re oh, we're 136 behind in Riga. It's here that we're 125 behind. Oh, we lost Samarkand. Oh, did I? Oh, I gave the gold to Riga. Universal suffrage seems the way to go, says Niz, if I agree. I gave the gold to Riga. That's what I did. Instead of giving it to Samarkand. Rip. Don't need Riga 5. Well, there's not a lot really to be done about it now. Don't have the gold to get happy. Just going to have to stomach this for a little while. It would be nice to get together a little bit of gold, but we can't afford it. Because people have stopped buying our iron, it seems. I mean, we're at... Yeah, let's be friends. And the tr trouble is we're at 91 pop on turn 118. We can't forget that. Which I guess is why we're unhappy right now. Ram is plotting against us. I don't know. Seems a bit lame. But we can head into our ideology. Busan starving. I guess it was being traded too. We can do that again. And now just push for statue. Florence, hello. We finally found a cultural city-state. It's a bit late for that. We don't have the gold for it either. And we've got... I guess we've got a spy... Good try in flood. Venice has got 208, so they're about to yeet us out of there. So I guess we need to put it in Riga. Balf says good evening. Welcome to the stream, Balf. Oh, well, some election rigging, so at least we're almost happy. We'll take an ideology. Will it be freedom? Will it be order? Order would be instant happiness. We've got factories everywhere. We I don't know that we've got the happiness to grow anymore. And we'll find it a lot easier to get a great engineer than... Actually, I don't know that that's true. We're already working all of our slots. Factory science could be the way to go. It's not like... I mean, gold purchasing would be good, though. I'm actually kind of torn. It would help to get our factories out a little bit, but more than anything, it's happiness. Universal so Statue of Liberty is so good, though. And I feel like we need it. Let's just take freedom. It aligns with the special ability. I don't think we actually need civil society yet. I think we, I think we do need avant-garde, but I think it might be too soon for civil society. I think it would be a better choice to get this National Wonder stuff. That gets us happy. And then we can vote for the World's Fair. And we need to win it. We should be able to win it if we devote every city to it. We could Golden Age for it too, but I think we need to save this Golden Age for labs because labs will be here soon. And then two turns for Universal Suffrage. I don't need to finish this factory off. It's Malacca. Still haven't found another natural wonder. World's Fair passed. Standing army tax passed. And we've got minus 25 gold per turn all of a sudden. Oh my god. Okay. World's Fair. World's Fair. World's Fair. Into Zoo. Factories. I mean, this factory is just not going to finish yet. We need to go World's Fair. 
I need to go World's Fair. Given how important the World's Fair is, I'm kind of inclined to Golden Age for it. We're a little bit behind. We could do with not losing it. Would be pretty, pretty big if we got it. We can afford to grow once here. Let's open up a tile. We can let this other stuff carry on a little bit. I mean, this is still dicey. We're about to lose Samarkand again. I wonder if there's anything we can do about that. Might be a cargo ending soon. Four turns, John Jew to Minneapolis. I think that's fine. We can send that one. Senior Berge says, what workshop slots in southeastern city? The factory. Oh, good point. Could do. That would increase science. It might make us generate a fact uh, an engineer too soon. Doesn't seem to be a problem for now, though. I guess we'll take them out if it gets close. It might be a bit early to do it, but yeah, it's a good idea. We'll do that. We're top tech. I feel like given how critical this is, we're going to do it. Because we need to finish this factory off in John Jew as well. Arabian Order. It's tough. We found a natural wonder. We can now adopt universal suffrage. That's put us four positive. So things are a bit tight. Things are quite, quite dicey right now. We've got a lot of production into the world's fair. Maybe equalize our gold problem. Yeah, we can. Need to get the banks and the stock exchanges built. Yeah, we've got nine for public opinion. We really do need Samarkand. It'll be within touching distance soon. Another like rigging's time, perhaps. No to these up and borders. No to those. As long as we don't keep dipping in happiness. A lot of World's Fair has been built right now. It's really being worked by the AI. Oh, we've got some more aluminium here. Another eight. Well, we're not short of aluminium. I mean, there's not a lot else we can do to this. We can just try and... if As long as we can get another round of production in, we'll be all good. And because we've got another eight aluminium, we can just give all of this away too. We need to keep buying spices. Hmm. It's 152 now. This is starving in Minneapolis, but we can fix this. And then we need to send this as trade to Samarkand. Water grew to some salt. Budapest's friend. We maybe should have sent it to Budapest. But we're already getting wine and pearls. How did Budapest get wine and pearls? What's our religion over there? Well, we're not doing that. It's a free population point down here. I mean, we need a couple of more pops from Busan. Another scientist. That's four now. I mean, I guess we're not going to be able to complete this. It's 100%, 652. We get it? We got it. Nice. That is quite big. 
Now we've got double culture. Which is really, really huge. Hey, happiness. Mangino Bear joins the stream today. Says, hey, PC. Welcome to the stream. Ninja says, important. Yes, this is pretty big, actually. This might just be the game winner for us right now, winning the World's Fair. Because otherwise, things were looking pretty dicey. 20 pot might be as much as we can take in Massive Apolis. What do we need to do here? We're building this amphitheater because we do need a hermitage still. Or a bank. Or a stable. We really need the stable, actually. Engineering 19 turns seems a while. Soonest engineer 16 turns. So actually, we, we're good. We can generate, we'll generate four scientists before we ever generate an engineer. We've already got four. Eight should be enough. But we need to make use of specialist food soon, which we don't have yet. We need free thought first. It might be worth putting some of these writers through in a minute. We've got two. Maybe getting one done. I mean, we'll get free thought and then we want civil society as soon as we can. Just got this down. Okay. No to these. See what we can get for our iron. Our gold is up to 25 because we're in a golden age. Probably stop paying for something random. Oh, hello. Muskets and a crossbow. Not really ready to defend that right now. Research agreement with Haran al-Rashid ended. Oh, we had two research agreements come through that we didn't get back. Opera House. Big Ben would be important. So would Porcelain Tower. Opera House first. Try to be diligent. What is over here? Oh, it's only these units, so that's not a problem. He's just protecting his profits. We haven't got any more research agreements, though. We do need an engineer. Grab one. So 63 behind in Samarkand. Which we'll get close to. So hopefully that will keep us okay. Needs will ask, shouldn't you use your writers during World's Fair bonus for the extra culture? Yes, but it's based on the average of the last five or eight turns. So doing it now is actually not good. There might We might have just another. Let's actually see. Artist in 11 turns. 18 turns. Yeah, we're, we're better off actually just waiting. No. We're better off... Oh, a barbarian. Did not even notice. Right, well that would have been good to notice last turn. Bring this pikeman up. Just to scout archer by any chance. No, but I guess it could be useful. Busan can just do what it likes. It grew. Here's this opera house done. Stoneworks is happiness. Zoo's done here. Windmill is building production. We need a city with a windmill. Sleep the engineer for when statue comes. Yeah, seven turns until the golden age. And we've got these dies that we can't afford to have back. Unless we find a way to get more gold. We're kind of working it all though, aren't we? And here's the one problem with Salt Regional. Working a lot of gold. Mr. Jarvis says, so, so it's looking like this is not a sub 170? I don't know. It's going to be labs on turn 130 something. Which might mean no. But you never know. Our end game science can be pretty epic. It really does depend, I think, because things could start going quite wild pretty shortly. We're starving in Massive Apolis. It's because the trade route ended, but we don't need to grow it anymore. So, production to Massive Apolis. Is 
Then the cap's done with the Opera House, which means we can get the Hermitage. Stoneworks is done here. Probably need to start working on gold. Let's grab the water mill first. Next turn for statue. Usan's got another scientist. We're up to five. Friendly trade route blundered. Okay, that's fine. I guess the barbarians are going for all of Ram's trade routes. It'd be annoying if they pillage all of our luxuries. So we might have to go stand on our gems with this pikeman. Well, that's that dead at least. Yeah, it's just pillaging Ram's trade routes. This city feels done though. Probably work max production here and be fine about it. Hydro plants. Hydro plants could be good. Markets would be needed as well though. Let's do first. Plastics in six. I know that we need a zoo. I feel like the hydro plant will be more valuable. Especially because we've built a zoo up there in Seoul and I didn't even realise. Statue's available now. That's a couple of social policies next turn. Which you'll see. It looked like it was going well, but the a little bit of a rationalism blip in the middle. I don't know if that's going to have cost us. I'm not selling this salt away again. See if I can trade it for something. Venice Autocracy. There you go. Statue of Liberty. That's free thought. 700. Oh, and we've got two social policies, of course. Means we want to take civil society. We were getting ivory from someone. That's that dumb. So we can trade the salt for this ivory. That works. Zoo is done here. Hydro plants, I guess. Oh, we got a load of one-turn buildings now. Market. Yeah. Market. Try and get some gold from somewhere. Really anywhere. We still have a spare salt because we just got a new one. Busan's been... Wrecked up a little bit here. I mean, we've got civil society food now. But we should probably be production focusing where we can. Don't really want to work the engineers just yet because we might accidentally generate one. Might be good to work the market in the capital now. I feel like it. Because we've got the career bonus coming. How does this look? 14 turns on a great engineer. How many scientists are ahead of that? 15 turns, 17 turns. One, two. We've got three scientists that are going to come ahead of it. And honestly, Minneapolis is one probably will too. Because we'll get a lab out. So we, we should maybe use that as our engineer benchmark. So in here, it's 63 turns. And it's down to 21. So we're never generating the engineer here. We could squeeze out one more pop and be done in Jonju, but the happiness would be a bit dicey if we do that. I think it's okay, though. And then Seoul has built a factory. It's going to be hard to get this worked. I would love to grow one more time. There. Busan's just not even built it yet. Hydro plant's not worth it in the capital. It's like three tiles. I mean, if we find the time, we could, but we're not even working one of the food tiles right now. Salt to Askia ended. Salt and wine. We can still do that trade, apparently. Askia never got his salt improved or continually traded it away. On to the bank. Choose a host. Keep making it Arabia. Need a friend. He's voted World Ideology Order, actually. But we can't make anyone else the host. That would be pretty painful if World Ideology Order goes through, but Venice is autocracy.
Don't know. Oh, we got this standing army tax still going on. Well, here comes Hermitage. That should all time up pretty perfectly for the writer bulb we need to do. Order for Mongolia. Got been gifting a Gatling gun. That can only hurt our cause. I'd like to just give it away to Samarkand. I'm going to hold it for a couple of turns because we might take that freedom policy, the one that lets you gift things away for loads of loads of XP. We'll actually move it over to Samarkand so we can do it immediately. One, a city starving. Massive Apolis is starving. Minus five. This can be fixed. Yeah, this, this can be fixed here. There we go. Zero. That allows us to send it more production as well, which we need. No need to be allies with Budapest. Okay, that's the Hermitage. Porcelain Towers, five turns. It's kind of unmissable at this point, and then we might have to think about Big Ben. We'll start on it, and then we'll build the lab, and then we'll have to finish it. Improve some tiles, but I don't think we need to use them. We're only up to 97 population. Labs turn 135, so I don't think this is going to be that rapid, actually, in the end. Six aluminium available. We must have got some more back, because we were trading it away. We're using two of the three that we want to use as well, so why don't we queue that up, and then we can sell the rest. We've only got 108 gold, so we've got no hope of being able to... I mean, I can sell this three for one, one, one of being able to purchase a lab. It's not really going to happen. Mine, sure. We got all of these people, just great people, just chilling. This is probably a problem as well. But we want to save them. There's not a lot that we can do about it. Selling the salt for eight. Feels like a bad idea. We got our marble back. Minneapolis loves the king. Good. One turn of forge or stable? Stable. Not actually working the forge. We got some tiles pillaged, but I don't think it was anything significant over there. But we'll send the workers anyway. Golden Age in one turn, hopefully. <clears throat> that will hopefully fix our gold issue. Hope. And then we can try and time our writer bulbs for it. Just having cities converted back and forth for no reason. Research agreement of 50 gold. Well, I like that. I, would, I want that. And open borders. How about just open borders? 30 gold. 45. It is 50. I don't like that so much, but we don't have the gold per turn, and we do want that research agreement in particular. No, I'm not giving you marble away again. Got another writer, and we'll go Golden Age hopefully next turn. We keep losing happiness. We're losing gold too. Research lab, research lab. Research lab. His research lab is going to be pretty slow. In hydro plant ahead of them. This would have been good timing for labs if we'd actually gotten them. Chemistry for the production. We can try and sell some more of this. Apparently we've got two salt now. I guess we can sell one then. Help. I know have our gold look less terrible. We're at minus 17. We 
move the scuttling gun down in case we do take the freedom policy, which I think we will. Unless Egypt look like, looks like he's going to war us, we'll do it. I don't think he is. If he does, we can take universal suffrage. It's getting to that point where we really need... No, I'm not selling away the marble. Oh, we're just not getting this golden age. Tilt from Genghis, come on. How many points away are we? Fertilizer. Repair. Repair. We need just two golden age points. We're going to grow two times. So we should have just enough to squeeze into the golden age. Well, we better. Got this Gatling gun near Samarkand now. How long left? We've got nine turns of the World Congress, so we should just be good. Two for 42. Oh, we're going to get all of our gold back. Good. All that gold we traded away during the last Golden Age. Cheeky AIs always asking for trades that don't exist. We finally got this Golden Age. Okay, well, we're right towards the end. How long is it going to be? Eight turns. We need to bulb all of our stuff. We can take this Arsenal Democracy thing. Well, I feel like Foreign Legions could have been a good play, but I want to give this Gatling gun away to Samarkand. Soul. Grew. Yeah, Soul's done now. For sure. So what are we working that's almost pure food like this? Yeah. 5.75 still to go. But we're working so much salt. This is why the city's so good. And we... Yes, we can afford to give away the gold. But what would we work with it? Nothing useful. Yes, we should work factory slots here. Once it grows once. John Jew is definitely done now. Working all of its chemistry mines. Swap one of these over. Minneapolis can grow once more because it's an odd numbered growth. Another scientist. What does that bring us up to now? Six. Getting there. We're 81 behind in Samarkand. Which is why we need the rigging and the gift of the Gatling gun. Perhaps should give away the archer too, actually, while I think about it. Uh, no. Take all of our gold back from Harren. Musician born and an artist. We need to save the artist. That's a bigger drain on our gold. Make the musician into something. Fifth symphony. Okay. A lot of our coal deals ended. John Jew starving. No, it's not. We were trading with John Jew. Let's send it production instead. Up to biology. Or what do we need? How do, do we need biology for the Apollo program? We don't. Well, let's get railroad then. We don't need biology. Let's not go for it. It's a railroad and try and prep for that. Soul has got this trading post that we could probably and should probably work now. How else do we need to do it? We've got workers chilling everywhere. That needs to not be the case. Foster joins the stream. Says going for a win timing record. I see. Yeah, trying it, but I'm not sure that we're going to do it. Mangino Bear says, I'm off, to PC, I'm off to bed PC. Good luck for the rest of the game. Thank you very much and have a good evening, Mangino Bear. We're going for it, but I don't think we're going to do it. We don't, we only, we've only got 20 turns left, so realistically, we, we haven't got this for a record. There's a lot of tech. And we're just not going to be able to build all the stuff in time. But it's going to be pretty fast nonetheless. We've got there's there's a bet going on in chat to see if it can be done below turn 170, which might happen. 
Yeah, a few garden. We've we've got four garden cities actually. The generation's fine. Like we got six great people. That's good. We just got we got wrecked a little bit in the mid game. Of happiness, but more we just couldn't grow. Basically, once we got to ninety one pop, we just couldn't grow, and that's what stopped it being ridiculous. Okay, this city's done now. Sixteen. Try and take off anything kind of pointless. 2.57. So that. Okay, that works. Research lab is done here. Maybe we can build Big Ben here. Six turns. Build a zoo here. Bring these workers back. Massive Apolis is somehow still trying to grow. That I feel, I feel like that's a mistake. It probably That was probably just leftovers. Research lab slot needs to be worked. Now we're at minus two. Feels like there's a tile that we can find to work with this. There is for sure. Just to max out to zero like that. Yeah, that's pretty, I mean, that's the best we can do. Five turn Big Ben here. We've got everything. Here we need to fill the research lab slot. Which looks pretty painful to do. Or do we, we're going to have to give up one of these chemistry mines to do it. And what's a minus two staff? 36 turns. But we can build two work boats for this. So why don't we build a work boat? And just grab the food from the fish. This work is never going to do anything useful there. Yeah, Vossa says, man, I had an Inca game where I was completely walled off from the other cities from by the Netherlands. So I played Inca with no luck trades. Oh, that sucks. All of my cities got like five growth at least cut off for the entire medieval renaissance. Yeah, exactly. This is what happened to us. We were growing like a steam train and then the growth just got cut because we ran out of happiness. In the end... Not quite enough happiness in this empire. It's because we weren't able to do anything with like religions and stuff. It just didn't net out that way. Which is the way that it goes sometimes, I guess. Okay, we got six scientists. A golden age coming up. Golden age still going. Need to pay attention to when we need to bulb these writers, which is in six turns. We'll get all of the social policies we need now, and that was looking like a real risk. There goes Big Ben. Wow. Okay. So I'm not, not getting that then. That would have been quite nice. We'll go stock exchange instead. Probably need to just hoard as much gold as we can. Cap grew and now the capital is definitely done. Research lab completed. Okay, we've got plus 19 food, which is a bit of a silly number. This is as good as we're going to get. Plus 10. But that's fine, because I'm pretty sure we're sending it a trade route. And John Dewey is now starving. Let's do a zoo and then another work boat. We do not want World Ideology Order. That would certainly kill us. Let's hope it doesn't go through. It might, though. This is one of those situations where it might go through, and we might be stuck. 62 away from Samarkand. We're about to rig, and we've got a gift that's about to come through. Any chance we can finish this lab in one? We need 4.4. Surely. Yeah, there we go. Just get the labs done in one. Yeah, even on deity, this much salt can sometimes not get you a decent religion. Exactly. It took, we, we didn't get very lucky with the Pantheons because it's standard map size as well. So the Pantheons just kept getting more and more expensive. Which was a big problem. So then Earth Mother did come in quite late. But yeah, if we'd gone Earth Mother as early as we should have or could have, it might have been okay. Ethiopian Autocracy, that's come one turn too late. Hopefully he downvotes because of that. Nope. Order passed. Now we're back to minus seven happiness again. Even having just finished a zoo. 
Tough spot. Might need to take some freedom happiness policies or something. I mean, how far are we away from Samarkand now? We're 18 away from Samarkand. So why don't we... One for 37. And then we can solve something here. Some people looking for us salt. Someone's going to want to buy it for a good deal, surely. And then we can sell. We've got a bunch of spare aluminium that we don't need. Then we can get this 18. Like that. Oh, wow, really? We're not happy. Oh. Also, there's one, oh, the only thing worse than being repeatedly screwed on Pantheon is having like 60 more faith than a profit requires. I guess that's true. But yeah, guaranteed profit on faith threshold is quite nice in Lek, I agree. Oh, because we're already getting ivory, so only jewellery was incremental to us here. We're 98 away from this city-state, though, so we're never getting Riga. I guess it's time to try and grab a spare AI Lux again. So who's got one? Until we can at least get some more happiness or zoos or something. Dies from Ashurbanipal. It looks pretty pricey. We might be able to squeeze it with like 16, 18. Yeah, we squeeze it with 18. Wait, did I just... Oh, I traded away the last copy of something, of course. And now he's got a spare copper. Ooh. Come on. Wait, what's the deal for this copper? Seven gold per turn, three aluminium and open borders. I feel like we might be able to squeeze this by trading the aluminium away to someone. Like this. He probably just wants a silly amount of gold per turn. On aluminium and gems. Yeah, it was just nine gold per turn. We're happy again. It's good. Need more zoos then. Usan is just totally starving right now. That's because we left it for dead earlier. Okay. There's an Ethiopian prophet just chilling here. Because we went unhappy, we didn't finish that lab. So we went for that mega star for no reason at all. Like that is good. There's really nothing else to do in this city. It's just going to grow a little bit. <laughs> One aluminium left. We should get more here. This is another three. It's probably just worth buying this thing and getting it. Porcelain will give us a science boost though. We're taking 33 from public opinion. Ouch. That's why we've only been able to make it to 101 pops. I would have really been looking for a bit more than that given how we'd started. But 101 is fine. We're apparently 1189 science in the end game. Do not need a hydro plant here. Probably should just build gold. So bank. This is done. Grab a harbour. Mark it. And a harbour. We can maybe do a harbour in the cap because that's instant railroad connections with these cities. And that means we can invest in getting the railroads right in these other cities first. Because the railroads are available next turn. We'd like to be able to build them if we can. And all these harbours completing, we'll get the instant railroad connections. And we're up to seven scientists. Let's just check the great person generation. 5, 8, 11. This is the engineer generation, which is 14, 18. Lab just finished. 0.57. Yeah, this is good enough. So we're up to 1,208 and that is maximum. We're working everything we can. Apart from, I guess, some bank and some stock exchange slots over here. 
We can't actually afford to do it without giving up production, though. So 1,200, that's what we're at the end. That's what we're left with. 1,200 science, even. So I guess that's what we've got. When's this world's fair thing end? Three turns left. Just a couple more turns and then we will bob all the writers and see where we get to. We could get... We might be lucky enough to even get to mercantilism for all I know. Do we have the railroad bonus this turn? No, we don't. It'll be the railroad bonus next turn. That stopped John Ju from starving. We're being converted all over the place. Go from science buildings next. Harbour done. Forge for the production. Ironworks, National Epic. Probably just Forge for the production. In here, it's a bank. In here, it's a market. In the capital, we're back onto a bank, but we really should build the Ironworks. Need to pre-build Oxford somewhere. But we are into railroad. We need to push for rocket tree. It's been one turn so far. So we're actually looking for turn 150 to bulb everything. Railroad, 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 railroad. This cargo was going where? It was Minneapolis for food. It wants to be Minneapolis for production. That finishes the bank in one turn. So we've only got Soul to Busan, which is food now. We do need to finish a cargo. Let's finish that. That's what oil would have been good for, but we need to make sure that we get to Apollo program as fast as we can here. Oh, I just sold my open borders for a coal to Venice. Well, we, the public opinion really can't get any worse. <laughs> really. So let's not worry about that. <laughs> Samakan wants iron. Well, I just bought coal. We do need a stock exchange in the capital. Let's start ramping up the money. We do now have railroads here. 113.3 on a building here. 113 on a building here. So these cities are actually rather equal. This was the cargo that we need to send from Minneapolis for gold. Sell our horses. Whoever we can. And we'll Siam take horses for a good deal. We've only got two left. Two for 74. Mercantilism might be important now we lost Big Ben. It's usually a big boost. We really can't afford to be building more than about... No, we don't need this research agreement. Bank done, stock exchange, forge is done. I mean, we're good here. Unless we want to build the National Epic. But National Epic doesn't help here. Oxford's one term, we can't afford that. Just work research. Stock exchange. Highest gold here. Bahir Dar. It's be a really low city in the Ethiopian list of city names. Back to getting the rest of our railroads up then, because we need them for spaceship part transportation. A spaceship part in Busan will take the longest to get to our capital. We should just trade for an iron. Anyone's got one. Arabia's got one. Trade for one iron. So that we can make sure to complete the quest with Samarkand. What we can't be doing right now is going unhappy. Aaron Al Rashid Ward Askia. We're going to have to hard build Hubble. Need to pay attention to that. Bank. Neuschwanstein could be good for gold if we need it. But I don't know that we can afford to build Neuschwanstein here. It's nine turns. Yeah, we need, we need to just get ready for the Hubble Space Telescope and the Apollo program. I'm quite sure of it. We should also probably just bulb a scientist in a minute to make sure we get there. Once electronics is done, we might bulb our way up. We'll research for this turn then if we're going to wait a couple more. 
We are up to seven scientists. We'll be able to buy an eighth too. Uh, open borders? No. We could probably get away with just a couple of turns. We probably don't need to get full value for these scientists, given that we're going to have about 10 or 11 the whole game. It's not, there's only so much research left. Declaration of friendship with the Songhai needs to be redone if we can. Good. How long are these friendships left? Four with Arabia. But we've got quite a long time with Ethiopia. 21. This needs a forge and a stable. It actually doesn't need a forge. Could do with a stable. Check we've got the railroad bonus to Busan. We do. Oh, the workers have got nothing to do now. But, yeah, we need to bulb all of these writers now. Let's do this then. So we can take space procurement. And then it's nine turns for the next social policy. What we don't want to do is be left hanging on rationalism, but I, I don't think we will. But I don't think we're going to get down to mercantilism. Oh, we probably will. Especially if we get another writer. Well, let's take Mercenary Army just in case. It's seven turns. Are we going to get another writer? No, 15 turns. So I guess not. I mean, maybe we will. But let's, let's hold out hope. Just in case we do. We should. Oh, the hydro plant in Busan now. Kind of crazy. Some real good tiles. I really know what we can do. I mean, the hydro plant allows it to maximise whatever it is that it's got. Hydro plant here is great. Never got a hydro plant in the capital. Hydro plant here, we're actually not using any of the tiles now. Even though we built a hydro plant here. Which seems like a waste of aluminium. I'm, I guess we're using a couple. But there's nothing I want to give up because I don't want to give up the science. I mean, if, maybe if we need to stop producing things in the end game. Which reminds me, we should definitely tick avoid growth everywhere. Kind of let the happiness get a little bit lax. I mean, these workers are fine just standing on these roads in between the capitals. John Jew, Massivapolis and Minneapolis. No, I'm not buying a coal with me up in borders. World ideology order, that's going to hurt, is it? And if we get even more than minus 33, I don't know what we'll do. Oh, we've been joined in freedom. Good. Maybe that will help. We just got gifted temple and garden happiness in one of our x -bands. We're up to 30 happiness. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Askia. Where were you earlier in the game? Will a stable be useful? We're not working whatever it is that a stable would do, so no. Which tells me that this probably ju does just need to be research. And we should do the tri trick with rebuilding the shrine here. And over here, we've got everything now. The forge doesn't matter. So we need to work research. Probably build the East India Company, I guess. That's a bit of gold. Why not? Busan. Stock exchange. Wow, we've got this aluminium. That's six production over there. That's fine. Nicholson asks, are stadiums an option? Not now. If we can avoid it. I mean, we got 30 happiness, so we don't really need it anymore. But yeah, they, they, might have, they honestly might have been. If it had gotten to that point, but they're not anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually need to pop a, a railroad right here. Right on this salt tile. Because that will make sure that any spaceship pot built in Busan gets to the capital effectively and in time. Which can actually be a bit of a risk. I would rebuild the shrine here, but we've got 101 turns of production on the ironworks. I don't think we need it this turn, but it's always worth preparing just in case you do. And this trade route, well, what was it doing? It was going to a city-state before. It can be production for Minneapolis now. Minneapolis is starving by minus two. Probably finished a King's Day here. 
How do we how do we not go minus two? We go minus one and then accept it. Yeah, 121. Yeah, but Balth asks Shrine Rebuilding. Yeah, so Shrine Rebuilding just exploits production overflow in Civilization 5. Basically, basically the way it works is that when, when you finish a building, yeah, each building takes an individual amount of production. So a Shrine takes 26 production. Now, Civilization 5 is nice. If there's 26 production for this building, I've got 113 production per turn. So if I've got... Uh, 113 production I only need 26 for the shrine I actually get the leftover save for the building that I build on the next turn so the shrine is the cheapest building in the game that I can rebuild because I can't rebuild a monument because it's 26 production so I'm building the shrine because that gives me the maximum amount of production left for the next turn what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put production towards the Apollo program before I actually have to build the Apollo program that way I will that way I will hopefully save a turn which is going to be huge Nizza says, Aski is one of the stranger ones. Sometimes he will war you all game for no reason. Sometimes he's so friendly, you think he's he has something totally different in mind. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Like, Askia, uh, it's interesting. I certainly expected more hostility, but he just got happy with us being friends with Arabia at some point, and that, that did it, basically. Assyrian order, that might make us go unhappy. All right, let's bowl three ballistics. Who turns left on radar? And we're now into the atomic era. We need to get rocket tree. We might overflow too much here. 5-9. Five, and so five, 5 times this is 5,000. It's 6,000. 5-9. We'll have, what, 1-4 into there. And then, yeah, we're, we're, I mean... We might overflow too much here, won't we? We might just be okay. Oh, we finished rocketry. Brilliant. And that means we can go Apollo program in five turns. And our capital needs to do the shrine rebuilding trick. Because our cap is going to be building the, Apo the Hubble Space Telescope next. So once again, we may sell our shrine and build it to get maximal overflow. And sell a worker, we don't need them all. We've probably got one too many workers chilling around here. We've got eight turns to starve in here for some reason. That's because the caravan finished. It might be cheaper just to do something like that. In fact, it probably is cheaper to do something like this. Give up some mines for a little bit of food. Yeah, and then it's 38 turns starve, and we can just send this caravan back as production. Although, I almost think that... I mean, there's no way that we're going to be building any more than four parts, right? So, we should probably just send this as production to Minneapolis. This city, it can, however, build up, pre-build at Oxford, and we will do that there. Anyway, Skeller Boost joins the stream today. Welcome. Asks, why don't you build National Epic in Capital? We never found the time. We should have built the National Epic in the Capital. I agree with you 100%. We just never found the time this game progressed too fast, basically. Pop this in Budapest. Yeah, the game progressed a bit too fast, so we just weren't able to do it in the end. I would have loved to, but yeah. Four units here doesn't look like a declaration of war from Egypt. But because we're on it's turn 149, we're already thinking about how to end the game. So yeah, everything just progressed really, really quickly. We weren't kind of we kind of weren't ready for it, basically. And we never did find the time. We chose to build Sistine Chapel instead, which I think was totally worth it. We need to be ready in six turns to try and social policy something. I don't know that we can get to... I mean, we can try our best to get to nanotech in six turns. We should be able to do it, actually. Come to think of it. Satellites into the info era. We found the Grand Mesa, Krakatoa, and both barrier reefs and the Old Faithful. We'll go have a look at where those are in a minute. 
Got another spy. Oh, I just cancelled away one of the world wonders. My bad. Pop it in Sydney. Don't really need spies anywhere. Okay, where's Krakatoa? Yep, right here. We totally missed it when we ran across from John Jew. We can't have been more than about four tiles away. Great Barrier Reefs up here with Assyria. Unsettleable, sadly. And then, oh, the Old Faithful right up here in Basra. And we never did... F I, didn't, I didn't get to see the other natural wonder. Perhaps we can spot it in here somewhere. I guess not. Tried to find it. We didn't get any quests for them, as it so happens. So I usually pay a lot more attention to where they are, but they would have been a great happiness boost earlier in the game. Six turns on Hubble. That's what we got then. And we need, we need to secure our roads, actually. This is a really important thing. The AI off, loves to run around your roads with their great profits. Do you see them doing it right now? What we need to do is we need to stand on our roads with all of our workers to make sure that the AI can't stand on the roads to block our spaceship parts from getting to our cities. So we're going to be trying it in a minute. So like that. So that's that's all workers. And then we just need this one right here. That profit to go away. Now I don't know if we've got another civilian unit that can actually do it. We, we can bring this pikeman back. He's not really doing anything useful. But British Tom asks, are you playing on quick game pace? Yes, I am. The production of the cap is only average, says Nizef. That makes it hard to fit everything into the building queue. Yeah, exactly. There's that as well. It was pretty average, so it made it hard to fit everything in. I mean, when you've got one of these games where you've got where you've already got satellites turn 150, it's um you got you you're gonna run out of time to build something. And it, it happened to be National Epic in our capital, really. We need to start stacking gold. Askia's friendship may never re... Oh, no, we actually did renew it. Her and Al Rashid's friendship may never renew. So we should try and give up four aluminium for 148. Basically try and give up whatever we can here. There's a spices available from Ethiopia. I don't really want to go unhappy, but I don't think we're going to now, are we? No, even if we go down to 33, we've still got room. So not worried about that. Means we don't need to buy that. We've given we've given away all that we can. And trade away the salt, but that's not necessary. We'll, we'll save the rest of the aluminium, but we got a thousand gold. We'll probably need about four thousand if we're building four parts. We have to bear that in mind. And we should be able in five turns we should be able to get to. I mean, we might have a bit too much science. We've got four scientists left still. We should be able to get to nanotechnology. That's our friendship with Arabia. We should try and renew that. Our gold's not that great. But with another 10 turns, we're not going to beat our personal best. But then like seven, eight city liberty is known to be the fastest. And we had a lot of troubles with happiness this game. So I don't think it's not unreasonable for it to not be our best game. But we can give it a damn good shot and we can try and reward everyone in chat. Who thought that we would be able to, in fact, win this game? In who do we vote for? We're just Ethiopia. They're the ones we care about, aren't they? They're not going to become it, though. The leader. Probably best just to try and look good to Arabia. I don't really want them to win the game by accident. We can actually make Ethiopia win. Has Ethiopia got gold. They've got more than enough for us, right? Yeah, they've got 3,000 gold. That's more than enough that we need. Let's vote for Ethiopia. Don't accidentally make Arabia win the game by some random thing. Delete our scout. That'll save us a ton of gold because standing army tax has been enacted. This archer might prove useful. Let's bring it back. Okay, there. Secure that tile. Secure that tile. And now we're good. Now we've got all of the dudes on this road, so we can't be too badly interrupted. Combined arms in three turns, so we can bulb. Computers in three turns, so we can bulb. Robotics in three turns, so again we can bulb. And now we've got one turn left. And that takes us to nanotechnology. I just realised we haven't even gone for ballistics, which is a, almost a massive oversight. But we've got two scientists coming, which should be able to do it. 
So yeah, through there and then one and two, we should be able to get through these. Hopefully, that would be pretty embarrassing if we aren't able to start these straight away. But we've kind of committed those bulbs now. We also did want to make sure we made it uh, in four turns. Is Egypt really plotting against us? Got Oxford going. We don't want to finish that. It'd be, it'd be good to see how much production is left to make sure that we can work it whenever we need it. All right, what's this left? So we got 25 over with our 74, which means that, yeah. Okay, so we're fine. 50 is more than good enough. Work research to make sure we don't accidentally build it. Right. Atomic theory in one, and then we should be able to just double bulb through these. Which means that we need to do the shrine rebuilding. Oh, oh, oh I could have sold the monument there, but I actually want the culture. So let's sell the shrine. And in here, again, I want to sell the shrine. And you know what? In Busan, just to be safe, let's try it. But I'm pretty sure our gold is going to be good enough. I would love for this Apollo program to finish in one turn. But I guess we can't do it because we need 20 hammers. Is it even possible to get 20 hammers here? It is not, but it all it all counts anyway towards the city. Although we probably should work it like this and minus two starve there now. Just want to sleep all these workers in the way. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. And we got two more scientists. And that should get us there over the next couple of turns. Indeed, we lost all of our happiness again. We're back to minus 33 for public opinion, but not to worry. We may perhaps be able to trade our spare iron for this spices. Just to give us a buffer, because we don't want to go on. Unha Going unhappy would be the worst thing to do right now. So we don't really want to do that. He doesn't want aluminium. So we'll just take that, get a little bit more happy. Through Atomic Theory. Bulb through that. Bulb through that. We're nearly there. We need to definitely do the shrine thing again. We just did it last turn in case we got there, but we didn't. So we'll do it once more. It's a bit of a waste. We probably could have worked an extra turn of research, but I've done it before where I haven't done the shrine thing soon enough. And it always hurt me so i want to do it for sure this time so always production is actually pretty disappointing in the end it's more over there because it's working a lot of science so seoul is kind of our science city over here is where the production's coming from so maybe we need to rejig this to get maximum production out Give up a little bit of science. What do we need now? I mean, these techs are going to finish easy peasy. And we have like three scientists. Like these three. Oxford that down. Yeah, we got more than enough science. So we make sure we crank as much as, as we can out of Busan. We might have to buy, the, buy a spaceship factory. Might actually have to be the play. We'll see what the time is like when we get to next turn. We've got eight aluminium left over. No friends to sell it to. I really know where we're going to get any more gold. Gave Ethiopia the world to Congress. Cities are being converted back and forth. Busan's got a 17 turn starve, but I think we'll be out of the game by then. We've been gifted a rocket RT. Promote it. Probably going to gift it away though. Okay, Apollo program done. We've got ballistics done. So what do we got? Nine turns on a booster. Nine turns on a booster. Twelve turns on a booster. I hope we haven't got too much overflow. No, we don't. 
I mean, we just do want to click on penicillin. Are we going to generate any more scientists? Five turns in Minneapolis or two turns of Hubble. I do think we only need three, though. I'm pretty sure we only need mobile tactics, telecoms and ecology. But we might need the fourth. Can we afford to delay? I guess we can. Nine turns on a cockpit in the capital and then we try and buy two parts and do a spaceship factory here. Feels good. Golden aging now too. That shaved A turn off. Already do want a spaceship factory then. And then this can be the only place we can afford it. 780. Oh, we're really backing ourselves to buy two parts now. If we do that. Really backing ourselves. How much gold can we get off this guy? Will you give us all your 3,000? We could get all of the 3,000 for everything we have. We need about 4,400 in the end. So we might just manage it. Then we have to. Yeah, we need then probably about 3,400. Something like that. 3,600 in total. Be aware of that. Probably delete this. We can also sell labs on the last turn to fund whatever it is that we need. So we have to remember that. I think we've got one too many units chilling. And delete this archer now. Up to 141. Okay. Well, we'll see. I do think we might actually need that. Scientist. Because we are only going to be able to faith purchase the one. That's got everything down to eight turns now. Oh, we got this research agreement coming in in five. No, we don't need to. Finish nanotechnology. Yeah, we got the research coming in, so we've not got a problem. We don't need to delay Hubble here. So let's just get this out because it's going to speed up our spaceship part production. We want to build the stasis chamber. And that's the four that we need to build. And we just need to sell to buy the others. How long is our friendship with Ethiopia? 13 turns. Hopefully we don't get denounced. If we do, that would be really bad. And if it ever gets to the point where we can get it all... 143 we can get all of his 3000 but i'm pretty sure we need well how much is it to buy part 2260 so we need 4 5 20 without going negative in the gold so that's what we need how now rashid's plotting against us apparently i'm really by that We just got to hope we don't get denounced by Ethiopia. Spaceship part production brings everything down. So we've got these scientists. We can't use them yet because we're too busy overflowing our way through all these technologies. Historical landmarks. Let's vote Ethiopia's way. I'll go finished. Massive Apolis. Yes, please. Okay, we're building all these parts in five turns. The Busan one needs to travel, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's like 9. I think that's like the maximum range or something. I I, I tried to learn it on one of the previous run-throughs, but I've actually forgotten what I learned. <laughs> well, what is it now? We've got 141. We've got 1,100. So we need now 3,500. We're struggling. We should maybe what wealth in Seoul. Mikko Dandelos declared war on Genghis. I think we take everything that we can from Ethiopia in just a couple of turns of time. And then if we do fall short by any amount whatsoever, we'll sell all of our research labs for it. We've discovered oil. Can't really improve it. <laughs> Refrigeration in one and then we should be able to start bulbing again. Yeah, give us one more turn. Get us up to like 1,500. And then we'll just sell everything we got 
to Ethiopia to make sure in case he denounces us within the last couple of turns. He loves us though. Because we voted with him on like everything. The only thing is the ideology stuff. He has denounced Arabia, but we're not friends with him anymore. We can just put this musician in something. We are 12 turns away. So I'm guessing we're going to be just short of getting ourselves to mercantilism, sadly. It's a shame. I was hoping we might have done it. But we will sadly not. Okay. So now we've got 1,400. So we need three grand right now. So I want to try and secure 3,400 from him. He wants us to vote world leader Ethiopia. We can actually do that because he's nowhere near. Right? He's definitely nowhere near. He's got 14. We'll vote for him. It's like 22. I really want to do that though. I think we can get 3,300 from him without doing that. Okay, sold 150 and that gets us there. Gets us to all the parts. We'll buy one in Seoul now. It's the cockpit. We Make sure we're not building the cockpit anywhere. Stasis chamber and three boosters. We buy the cockpit. Okay, 158. How fast are we going to be? Oh, we should have bulb last turn, our scientist. Mr. Kepler. Too busy, I don't know, what is it, gazing into the stars to work on some actual science, Mr. Kepler? We've still got our Oxford over there. We should actually be building our Oxford over here. If there's any way to get it down to two turns. How much does it need? 184. We're actually a touch short. If we can fire up some more production in this city, we should be able to finish Oxford in here. I don't think science is going to be a problem now. We can, like, two-turn Oxford in here somehow. I don't think we're going to be there, though, in two turns, are we? Let's... We need to purchase our scientist, just to make sure. To make sure nothing daft happens there. Scientist. Oh, this through ecology. Grab us mobile tactics. Research agreement with Ethiopia comes through next turn. We can't afford this silver anymore. Unless he does iron horses, but we don't need it, right? Yeah, we've got six happiness. Science, I don't think is a problem right now. Uh-huh. On it goes. It's one part. I mean, do we need to get it down? We probably do need to get it down, don't we? We've got one more scientist and a research agreement. So if we can get this down to two turns, this Oxford University, let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's Oxford University down to two turns. And now let's give ourselves a little bit of buffer. Take it out of here because here's building the booster. And into here for Oxford. And then uh, hopefully our science boost from Ethiopia plus our own scientists will be enough to get us through telecoms. Even grow here. Grow to production. <laughs> Why not? Four. Couple of turns left. Could be one. This could be the second fastest ever victory. Only a, about a week after the fastest one. Looks like everyone who voted earlier for pre-T-170 is going to be correct. <clears throat> Unless we screw up the Oxford University. Research agreement got us through mobile tactics. Four turns left on telecoms. One turn left on telecoms. Particle physics next. So we can and should finish Oxford. As long as we don't screw it up. So we're going to be over by about 28. We need to make sure we go over as much as we humanly possibly can here. 
So anything that's one production needs to go on the two production tile. We don't have any more. <laughs> oh, we do. We do, we do, we do. Anything that's got no production on it, first and foremost. The bananas can move. Then this is a one production that could go to a two production. Golden Age isn't going to end, though. So unless we go unhappy over the end turn, we're going to be good. We've got like 30 over. I don't I don't want to be one short, so I'm going to move this over. Sounds good. Oh, well, good luck to us. We grew soul for the final bit. Next turn, we need to buy the last part in soul as well. Looks like it's going to be turn 162. So Mr. Jarvis earlier was asking about the pre-T-170. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. Whoever voted two on the prediction. And the great artist was born just too late. I guess we can pop the writer. Pop the spaceship part on. Pop the artist. Okay, then this part needs to go on. This part needs to go on. Can we reach the capital and put this part on? We can. Five parts on. Need one more. SS engine. There it is. Work research everywhere, I guess. Don't really need to do anything else anymore. Joey says, just no record, I know. Nizza says, career is just crazy in the late game. It really is. I mean, we've got 1320 science working all research. I mean, the problem, I mean, Korea, all of Korea's boosts came in handy at various different points in the game here. Most importantly, the science boosts whenever we built a science building and Korea getting immediate secularism. Because this game, and this is why Korea is a top tier sieve, this game we struggled. We were flying through the early game based on our land, only to stall because we just couldn't stay happy. We even had Hong Kong as an ally, but we, we had a bit of a critical period in the mid game where we made some slightly incorrect plays. And that meant that we just didn't have the happiness available quite enough to be able to stay happy all the way through the mid game. Basically, we got to 91 pop on turn 118 and had to stop. And we only got another 11 pop from now until the end of the game, despite the fact that we had tons of food and we went freedom for civil society. So this game, I mean, it could have been so much better. We just couldn't grow anymore after we hit 91, went unhappy for ages. Never ever found the room to go happy again because the moment we got an ideology to go out of this unhappiness rut that we did have, we suddenly got smacked with 34 unhappiness from public opinion because only one AI went freedom and everybody else went order. Which meant that this game could have been a few turns faster. I would say that if we'd actually managed to maintain happiness through the mid game with these city states, we would have beaten that Inca game. I feel quite confident in that now. Given that we finished this on 161, only four turns would have been required to beat the Inca game. And four turns, that was probably easy, easily worth... If we were able to grow from turn 118 until, say, turn 130, we would have easily beaten that Inca game, I think, because we wouldn't have spent several turns unhappy in that region, and we'd, we would have grown several times more in all of these cities as well, which would have increased our not only our in-game science, our production to build research labs, our ability to build spaceship parts, and in general, of course, yes, the in-game science too. So yeah, turn 162 it's going to be, just no record. But yeah, career is, is indeed crazy. And Nizov says, well played. Thank you very much. 162 is good. Power of OP sieves. My record of 164 as a serious stood for a long time. But the moment we started playing all these OP sieves, we got it. I would like to try Babylon again at one point. Our Babylon run got interrupted because we got declared war on and lost a city. <laughs> but I, even then, I still felt like we finished it in the 170s, which easily could have been a sub 160, I guess, if we hadn't lost that city. Roll on to the next turn. There seems to be nothing else to do. We can't be stopped because our spaceship part is in the capital. Open borders, no. And the timings were all pretty perfect. 
We could have perhaps shaved one turn off somewhere, I think. Maybe, but... This was good enough. So here we go. Three a turn, 162 science victory. Deity difficulty. Pangea map size, standard, standard map size. Quick game pace. SS engine. And there's my achievement, the chosen one. I've never won as Korea before. There we have it. Five cities before National College as well. Just saying. Just saying. Five cities before National College. Would Busan have been any better if we'd settled it after? I don't think so. 492 productions. Epic in the end. Oh, look at that. We were 47 score away from an Augustus Caesar level science victory. Nizif asks, what's your best cultural victory run? The, the Brazil one that's on the YouTube channel. I forget how fast it was now. I haven't done culture a lot, and that's the fastest. I've never, I've never tried a cultural run where I've had epic faith. Apart from that silly Byzantium game that was on your enjoyable deity games uh, forum, Nizef. I haven't, I haven't done one apart from that. Because, I oh, know, just cult, cultural victories. I, li I, li I like going for them from time to time. But they're always incorrect and they're always slower than whatever else you could have done. But yeah, so that, that Brazil game is actually my fastest. I cannot remember the last time that I that I even did a cultural victory on Deity Difficulty, if I'm honest. But FJS Will says, I have to say I was confident in sub 170 with like 300 science by turn 100. It says, well done. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I guess I was, I was quietly confident too, but you can never really tell how these games are going to pan out, can you? Especially once labs, we only got the tech turn 135. So that that could have gone dicey. I have a, I played a game as Morocco once where I got my I had my labs built by then I think, and the game didn't finish until about turn one ninety. So it can really depend a lot on where your end game number nets out. Fortunately, as Korea, we netted out in the right place and had a ton of scientists to use in the end. Lad stuff joins the stream today. Says GG sir, thank you very much. Um, Scott. Skadaboosh says, should play Lekmod. It's also good for single player and makes the AI play better. I've actually played Lekmod not too recently on the Twitch channel, actually. We we played as Mexico. Went something like Nine City Liberty on Raging Barbarians, I believe. Went okay, actually. It was a relatively quickish science victory. It was an easy ride to... From what I remember, I feel like it was an easy ride to a win, although I cannot quite precisely remember. We might have gotten declared war on the end, but it might have been fine anyway. Yeah, I agree with you. It does play. It does make. Well, I'm not going to say it makes the AI play better. I think it rescues the bad decisions that the AI makes because it hauls piety, liberty, and honor up to the standard as pre patch tradition, which makes the AI a much bigger challenge. And the lands are better, which means when they spam ridiculous cities everywhere, those cities are actually good. So yeah, the AI the AI does better. I don't think it plays better though. But yeah, I, I agree. It, add, it adds some flexibility for sure. So. I think, I mean, Le this the, the the last game we played in Lek is not going to be the last Lek game we play on the channel for sure. We're going to be playing Lek at some time in the future. It's a nice, it's a, it's a nice variation to stock Brave New World. It's not too different like the Vox Populi mod might be, but it's different enough to be a different experience. So yeah, I'll for sure play Lek mod again in single player. I'm not ever really going to play Lek mod multiplayer, I don't think, but I will play Lek mod single player again for sure. I want to have another go at Ten City Liberty, seeing if I can make it work. Because Raging Barbarians really wasn't a good representation when we played it before. Still went okay, though. Ladstuff says, I'd love a good rundown between Lekmod and Brave New World. Ooh, I don't know. I tell you what, I'm I'm not exactly the best player to ask. I'll tell you what, actually, Ladstuff. I, I don't know what your interest level in Lekmod is, but there is a, a player who is pretty revered within the Lekmod community. He's called Gowafat. Is that how I pronounce it? I really, I really don't actually know how to pronounce his name. But he's called Gaofa, I think. That's how I pronounce it anyway. And he's done a guide to Civ 5 Lek Mod. All about the differences between Base Brave New World and Lek Mod. And I will just share with you his YouTube playlist. So yeah, Lost Chase says Gaofa has some very nice vids. Yeah, so he, he does a breakdown of... The, the key differences really between Lekmod and 
base brave new world i only know the i only know the the really top level differences so i will probably i mean i can run through them quickly now the i think some of the main differences are well the biggest difference i would say personally but yeah you can check out galfat's vids he's quite good he also streams on twitch by the way galfat he is an incredible leg mod player from what i've heard so if you're if you're interested in watching top 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 level leg mod play you only have to go find his channel it's scow fat civ or something on twitch he probably links to it on his youtube channel actually so you'll probably be able to find it anyway but yeah he, he's incredible so if you want to see the top level players there but kind of in short the difference is really there are probably probably three key points that i would talk about i think the first is the map the second is the social policies and the third is the game speed i guess and i think it probably does just boil down to that I and mean, there's there's a fourth which is the fact that everyone can get religion and all religious policies are good but if i were to go through them one by one the map i would say is the biggest thing brazil t25 culture victory lol that is bad i'll tell you what i think i might have actually done it i didn't realize it was that slow i might have done it a bit thanks Nizza, for looking that up i might have actually done it a bit faster personally but nothing public i'm not going to go out claiming like i i i do not remember how fast i've done it personally it's been such a long time since I did it. The last cultural victory game I played was a preparation game for that Brazil game. It was a preparation game for the, the Iroquois game that we played on stream or a couple of preparation games. I genuinely don't know how fast it is, but hey, if T225 is what's on Brazil, that's my current record. It must it needs to be beaten, I guess. Um, but yeah, so Lekmad, Lek, Lekmod basically, one of the first key differences is the map. It plays on a version of the Hellblazers map, which is called Lek Map. And that just comes from a bit of history where Lek Mod, it basically branched from the old NQ mod that Filthy Robot used to play way back when. And so Lek Map, Lek map is a branched version of Hellblazers map pack. And if you've ever played the Hellblazers map pack, the Hellblazers is kind of like the base Brave New World maps on, on steroids. It There are more rivers. There are more... There are more good tiles everywhere, basically. More bonus resources, more rivers, more more sea resources, more of everything, more more lands of grassland and plains and things, and less tundra and snow, and also islands everywhere. So there are, there is actually room to settle off of the main Pangaea if you want to. And more specifically, the excess of bonus resources, and in fact, it's got more luxury resources, because, well, the Hellblazers map actually has more luxury resources compared to the standard base Brave New World maps. So if you didn't know, the standard base new Brave New World maps are generally split into generally split into regions. Anyway, on the Lek map, I believe each region gets between four to six, not on the Hellblazers map, every region gets between four to six unique luxuries in it plus a whole bunch of your regional luxury. And on the Lek map, there's even more. And the rule in general is number of cities equals number of luxuries, regardless of whether or not you're liberty or tradition. And so when you've got between four to six unique luxuries in your region, the minimum number of cities you'll get is four, especially on Hellblazers, because there is less tundra and less snow, which makes all of these cities viable. Then you go to Lek map, where you might say average six unique luxuries or something silly like that or you might even it might even i lord knows it might even average eight for all i know tons of luxuries so you can actually find tons of cities all of the rivers means that every city's got food on base brave new world you may have three river tiles in your whole empire sometimes on just like a normal brace base brave new brave new world map that doesn't happen on Hellblazers or the Lek map, there's just like rivers everywhere galore, fresh water, sea resources, etc. Basically, every city you found can be great. The bonus resources get them off to an electric start. There's food everywhere, there's production everywhere, there's luxuries everywhere. And that really makes your cities huge and excellent. It does everything faster. You grow faster, you build buildings faster, you get more gold. It's got tons of culture all over it, tons of faith all over it. So you get more religious stuff you get more culture to work through your social policies makes it huge let maps probably the biggest difference next thing is the social policies so all of the social policy trees are now viable all of the opening ones but also all of the secondary ones too 
And not only that, but they've made viable because everything's buffed up to the quality of tradition. And not just that, it's not just tradition, tradition. It's the pre-patch pre tradition, the one where you can take the monuments policy second as opposed to third. And everything is buffed up to that level. Piety, liberty, honor. Liberty in particular is a huge one because if you have the right map for it, liberty is already the best policy on base Brave New World with the right map. So the, the tradition is the best policy on most maps, but on the top, top end of maps, Liberty is the best policy in Base Brave New World. You get more of those top end style maps and Liberty's buffed on Lek Mod. Just the main core change with the social policies. Rationalism is not the biggest thing, but like it's not, it's not as important because all of the other trees are buffed. But science is always good, you know, so you still want to focus on science with the social policies. Lots of says the social policies is what I love to try out. Yeah, and it yields to some interesting gameplay as well. You with the base Brave New World, the challenge and the differentiation is always the map and the style and the layout and all of the different challenges you have to work through on the base Brave New World map because the maps can be so bad. Whereas on the Lek mod, everything is a lot more homogenized. And so the variety on the Lek mod comes from the variety of civs basically that they have and civ abilities. And also it comes from the variety in choices. Because instead of one social policy or two social policies that you choose from, you get to choose from all of them. And so there's the difference. It introduces the variety in different ways. Base Brave New World introduces variety by making war basically viable even on quick speed and having wildly different maps and setups that challenge you to operate in various different ways against your civ skills. Whereas Lek map, the variety comes in working through your working through the wide variety of social policy trees and religious tenets to sort of make your empire the best that it can be. So it's a bit different. And because the game's faster, because the maps are better, war basically becomes less viable. I'm not going to say it's unviable, because people do do war quite a lot in the NQ community, but it's war is already not very viable on quick speed Brave New World. And you're talking about a game mode where it's 20 or 30 turns faster, which just means war is much less viable. And I'm not meaning overall war, because... Games can end in war in Lek Mod just like they end in Base Brave New World Civilization 5. The difference being is that any war done be before the modern era or before the atomic era is much less viable on the Lek Mod because there's it's, it's the same reason why war is less viable on quick as opposed to standard. Well, war is similarly even more viable from quick going down to Lek Mod pace because the game's faster but the movement doesn't compensate. So that's the thing. There's the differences between what is... The, where the variety comes from base brave new world it's the map it's the challenge of making best of what you've got based on whatever load of random stuff you've been dealt with on your map and on lek mod it's the variety of social policies really and really just tenets that allow you to custom make the game based on the land that you've got and then the final thing that i was talking about was what was i talking about now i forget what i i said was the the final difference actually Wild number of civs? No, that wasn't the difference that I was talking about. What is the difference that I'm trying to... Does anyone remember what I said was my third difference? Map, social policies. I remember. And I guess the islands, you can always settle the island, but the islands are always the same on the lake map. So like once you've settled the islands, once you've settled the islands 10 times. Yeah, I guess speed is a big one. I already talked about game pace though as part of the as part of the previous the, the map thing that I was talking about and the, the social policies. What was an ideology? I mean the ideologies are sketched out differently as well, but I, I count that as part of the whole social policy variety. Probably just the variety of civs, I guess everything being viable i mean that the two key ones are quite obviously the social policies and the the map anyway the rest is kind of a bit more fluff on the edges i think but simming's simming is more of a thing on lek than it than it is on deity and deity ai already swings towards simming quite a lot and i don't remember anyway but i think we summarized the big ones but anyway i linked to gareth out's playlist in the chat if anyone wants to see what he thinks of the differences you can go see his video there's a ton of new civs though, so I guess it's that variety choice. You can choose the variety between social policies and civs. 
on Lek map, whereas the variety it comes, a lot of the variety comes from the challenges that the map makes you work through on Base Brave New World, which I I very much enjoy being dealt with the map and trying to trying to make it work on it, as opposed to looking at the map and saying, oh yeah, piety is the best thing here, and just sort of playing my out of the box piety. You know, like you have to play tradition in so many different ways on the Base Brave New World map, <laughs> whereas there's only really one one way to play tradition on Lek map. And if you want to learn it, just go watch Grabo on Twitch. But yeah, Nizza says, are oh, those lovely islands? Indeed, it's so it's so nice, those islands. I But I, I played the islands about two or three times and I got bored of them because they're all the same. It's, it's nice to actually, if you run out of space on the mainland, it's nice to be able to find somewhere off the coast. That is a really great thing. So I support islands. That is the one thing that is so rubbish about the base Brave New World Pangea. I think if the base Brave New World Pangea just had islands, it would be, I it would be it would be my favourite map, and you could never you could never get convince me otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, Nizza says about the culture victory that indeed they, you could probably do quicker because you do have the potential to smash it. Yeah, I know. I, I've never tried a, a a mega culture victory. Perhaps I should. It might be the one. It might be the one last thing that I have left to achieve in brave new world civ 5 is to do a super fast cultural victory because i've done i mean i've done all these super fast science victories now turn 158 on quick game pace is pretty epic you can go a bit faster because i know fireflies posted about it in the discord but I, I could roll for days for another salt liberty start and just do it or like a, a pro tradition start and just do it i mean even this game could probably replay it and actually manage to do it faster if you just sort out your happiness somewhere in the mid game. But yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Maybe a super fast culture victory is the last one on the list. That would that would require a super fast game. Super fast culture victories are just building a great empire and taking it in the cultural direction as opposed to the non-cultural direction by rolling until you get a god cap, which basically means even more salt and more river. So perhaps I should try that at some point. But, I mean, for anyone who's still chilling around, I guess we can check out the game quickly. We were first in science from a long way out. And this manufactured goods, by the way, 492 is ludicrously good. This empire was great in the end. It didn't look as good as it could have done because the game ended really fast. And we can check out the map. Here's us in our tiny little corner. So we spawned in, apart from Egypt spot, we arguably spawned in the worst spot for meeting the world. FJS Will asks, did you re-roll for the start today? Nope, we did not. We got, oh, yes, you've reminded me of what I needed to do. I needed to end the prediction. Prediction. End submissions. How do I, so manage prediction, Twitch. Channel points predictions. Yes, please tell me Twitch customer support how I finish these predictions. Initial setup. Creating. Chat command. Slash something. What if I end submissions? To complete a prediction, select end submissions and choose an outcome. Okay. So, end submissions. Something went wrong, please try... Really? Something went wrong, please try again. Hold well on. So, the next prediction is here still. Choose prediction. So. Let's have a look. So, here's the prediction. Okay. The, the channel points put down the prediction... Maybe I can... I wonder if I can just share it quickly. Should I share it? Maybe I can... Make a tab capture quickly. How do I do that? Window capture. Game capture. Widgets. Browser source. What's that? Window capture.
Is it a Firefox Twitch? Yeah, okay. And then what do I have to do? Capture method. Auto. Okay. I think I've just pulled this window capture over the screen. So there we go. This is the messiest thing I've ever done. But hey chat, you've got it now. So manage prediction. So here we have it. We had 28,600 PCJ laws towards will PCJ law win this science victory before turn 170. And there were 20,300 PCJ laws thinking that I would finish it turn 170 or after. There were nine total voters for PCJ Law will win it before turn 170, and three total voters for PCJ Law will win it after turn 170. I'm going to click on summary. I wonder if there's some more that I've got here. Oh, here we go. I can do I can do you one better actually. Let's change this capture over. Because I can do you one better. We have. Where is it going? Recordings calculator. Where, where's it gone? What's it called? The overlay that I've got. It's it's Twitch, Mozilla Firefox. I've got the wrong one, basically. I really want to match with name. There we go. So here here look, here's the final results we've got. Just so that everyone everyone knows. So, PCJ Law before turn 170. FJS Wall put 20,000 points down, Mr. Jarvis. 4,910. Senior Bear Jew, 2222. Squeak is a bully boy, voted 1,000. Love Work, 444. Duck Chief, 30. Nizef only put 10 down. Nizef, you only put 10 down. Meme, 17, put 10. And the Black Vegetable actually voted 0. <laughs> Whatever that was about. On the 42% side, Orion VB was not very confident in me at all. Gave 20,000 PCJ laws to turn 170 and after. The DPN was not confident. 300 and TBO Dota gave 10. That was probably because I insulted the Minnesota Vikings earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> so here we have it. Nizza says, I suck with these interfaces. <laughs> well, did, did you intend to vote, for, vote with more than 10? You only voted 10. 10 is like nothing. You earned 10 for just chilling here for like five minutes. So we can take this back now and we can choose the outcome which is PCJ Law 1 before turn 170. There we go. Winner. FJS War. Profit. Orion VB. I'm sorry. Better luck next time. Have more faith in PCJ Law. That's what I think. <laughs> I didn't even know how to change it. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, FJS Wolf says, Faith equals rewarded. Indeed, happy days. How, how many channel points did you get back for it? What did the return ratio say? It was like 1.9 or something. I, I don't know. Was it like 1.9 to 1 or something? So you're up to like 40,000 channel points now. You've got 14,000. Oh, wow. You're up to 35K. Nice. Did you vote with all of them or did you leave a few behind? I have like 900, I see. Where's the faith? Where's the faith? Why, why did you not vote with all 20,900? <laughs> oh, fair enough. Thank you very much for the faith, but... Lacking. Like, yeah, ne next time you've got to put down all your 35k. Instead of instead of using it all to get me to denounce all of the AIs in the game, perhaps. But yeah, Nizov says about the culture. Oh, who do we have to thank for them points, says Mr. Jarvis Veg. And that was Orion VB. Nizov says, it's mostly the early growth to reach Renaissance in time to build some of the mid-game wonders. Requirement to win an easy culture victory. I mean, yeah, I kind of agree. I think the... um. 
I think I agree with you. The, it's the rush into the renaissance, isn't it? Like, we, if we'd have been 10 turns sooner to leaning, we'd have got leaning. But I think we did the right thing. Sistine, Ufizi, stuff like that. If we could have been maybe five turns quicker to everything and had a stronger capital, this game could have been a, a lit cultural victory as well, I think. And it says, apparently, I have 11,000 points now that I found it. Oh, well, there we go. I didn't realize you didn't know how to find the, the channel points. They're always at the bottom of chat, but I don't know where it is on mobile. Good job, I have unlimited channel points. Can get myself to drink some water. Maybe I should have redeemed and named something in game. Well, Alright, I guess this takes us to the end of the game. I wonder what the graphs look like. Is there a population graph? There's a food per turn graph. Our food was insane. I, I wish we had the happiness to handle that. I really do. Although, this is another plus one for five city tradition before National College. Actually. I feel like I've been trying it out now. Yeah, here's the population graph. We just had to stop there. Wherever that was, we just had to stop. And we didn't get anywhere once we got 91. That was really, really sad. We actually had to stop at 90 and somewhere along the ways we actually snuck another one in. But we were flying. I mean, look at this pop graph. We were flying. We could have ended up all the way up here at like 135. But we would never have. I mean, we ended the game with two happiness, so we would have never have gotten there. It's just the ideology stuff. And that comes from our terrible culture. If we'd had good culture, it wouldn't have been so much of a problem. But because our culture was terrible. I mean, actually, the total culture was really good in the end. Because we did complete. We did get two filler policies overall. So the culture wasn't actually that bad in 162 turns as well. I guess we just needed more this game because there was a lot of tourism going around. But yeah, we ran out of happiness. We only had the happiness room for 104 pop. And that is where we really stalled. Otherwise, this game could have been much, much faster. Here's the production. Look at that. Statue. <laughs> Basically. Statue and factories right there. All of those jagged lines and the science per turn as well. We thrashed the AI. We had top science from miles out. And never relinquished it. Unit maintenance. We were paying a lot for unit maintenance in the end. Because someone enacted standing army tax. It's annoying. Yeah, this game. This game could be could have been a lot better. <laughs> and all of our worker steals. The mid -game one, in the mid-game wonders, culture victory makes both Babylon and Aztecs very good. Yeah, I think so. Having said that, one of Nizaf's first culture victories was three city Sim City game of Shaka. Nice, turn 302. That's really good, actually. Nice, well done. Yeah, I... The OP Civs give you a better chance, but if you open with a strong game, you can do it as anyone. I mean, I'm pretty... My, my best cultural victory attempt, now that I'm remembering, I'm pretty sure was four city France. And it wasn't because of France's ability, although, of course, France's ability helps. It was actually just because I got an absolutely lit start. And I was very proud of that game because basically I spawned two tiles away from a canal with my capital. And I was like, YOLO, let's settle a canal city. And then it paid off big time. And I ended up going, it was actually five city France in the end, I think. No, 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 it was, it was four city France and that canal mattered big time. And so I was like, I was, I was patting myself on the back for days after this France victory. And I, it, it was just an absolutely lit start with the capital. I was getting like wonders all over the place. Wonders coming out my butt. It was really everywhere. And that was, I think, the best attempts I had. And I don't remember how that actually finished up in the end. But yeah, so you can do it with anyone. The map matters more than, I mean, the Civ is great, but with the right map, anything can happen. It's just the thing is with Babylon or with Aztecs, you can roll a decent map. And have a great shot at it. Whereas with Shaka, you have to roll a strong map. To have a similarly sized shot. But if you just get lit land, it can be done with anyone. That's what I would say about that. All of these workers. We never did return any workers to Riga. Poor Riga. We actually needed them all as well in the end. I couldn't believe it how many workers we needed. We had like 11 or 10 across our five cities. You never feel like you need that many. But I think we just got caught behind on workers a little bit. 
somewhere in the early game. That was probably the five turns or so, or ten turns that we spent without that work that got stolen by the Barbarian. I reckon if we played that better, this could have been a couple of turns shorter as well. Probably. Which is kind of interesting to think of, actually. About how well this could have gone if we hadn't made the small amount of mishaps in the early game that we did. And where, where on earth it could have gone if we hadn't gone happy. Or hadn't gone unhappy in that middle period and had been able to grow more than past turn 100 past 102 pop or in fact have been able to grow up to 102 pop and then stop as opposed to having to stop at 91 and then restart a little bit later also lol look at the song high after we stole their worker they got their other worker stolen by barbarians and went down to zero poor song high oh no lol <laughs> Songhai never. Songhai went down to zero workers for a bit. R.I.P. Several of the AIs got their workers stolen a couple times as well, going down to one. Assyria had one worker here. That must have been turn like 90. They went down to one worker at some point. R.I.P. Oh, let's have a look at where's where's Riga. Riga and their workers. They never did get any more than the one worker. After we stole lots. Well, that was an amusing read, at least. Nisa says, this, that is why he never came for you. He was busy building workers. Yeah, it probably was. <laughs> poor Songhai. It was poor Songhai. Never had more than... He, had, he only had three workers up until mm, ages. Who had the same number? Ethiopia had tons of workers like us. You can see why Ethiopia was the strongest Civ because they built loads of workers. The early workers and the early... I mean, the early settler is obviously critical to the deity AI. But just as critical as those early workers. And I guess it showed because the strongest Civ outside of us was Ethiopia, the one that built the most workers. We actually... We had the most workers for a period of time before we started deleting them. Why is this tile improvement maintenance thing? Why did it go massive? Lord knows. Maybe it's like building maintenance or something? No, there's our building maintenance. We were paying the most in building maintenance for most of the game. The dirty AI spamming army instead. Military might. You can just about see our graph flashing at the bottom there. Ethiopia never used their military. Some of these AIs were pretty bad. If you weren't going for a super fast science run, I might have thought about trying to kill one of them. Probably should have considered it. But oh well, you're not, you don't really have time to kill an AI for a, a fast, quick speed victory run. On standard speed, you do. On quick speed, you definitely don't. So I guess that was that. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of the stream, everybody. So thank you very much for watching. It's our fun turn 162 science victory played as Korea base brave new world Pangea map low sea level strategic balance standard map size Mr. Jarvis says good night friend yes good night indeed 